This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, get ready to get wet because this episode we're talking about hard rain. I'm soaking wet, Andrew Jupin. I am splashing Steve Sadak. I am hard Eric Siska. I'm just Chris Cabin. <laughs> For now. Okay. And we hate movies. <laughs> Welcome to the fine program, as always. Uh, if you're tuning in new because you're a hard rain fanatic, <laughs> this is a comedy show where we, uh, you know, Hardies, you, they're called. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're the Hardies. Wow. They can Big eat fans. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We're a comedy show that takes a movie like Hard Rain and kind of goes through the plot and makes fun of it along the way. And it's all about the friends we meet on the exactly. journey. Are, are we doing an anniversary thing? You're throwing this one back, <laughs> into, back into the mix? Wow. <laughs> we love you and we love each other. We're just here to have some fun. And it's okay to like a movie. And I like this movie. I saw this for the first time yesterday. And I think it's fucking fantastic. It's from 1998, directed by Mikhail Salomon. No uh, direct Directorial film credits between here and 2014's Freezer. Yeah. You guys take a look at Freezer? I did not. Oh. It's a movie about Dylan McDermott. Oh, fun. Uh-huh. And Mike Dexter himself, Peter Fascinelli. Nice. Are locked in a freezer by the Russian mafia. Nice. Mm. That's why they have That's the movie. That's why cut- they haven't been in movies lately because of that. <laughs> Is it kind of a saw thing? Is it like a horror? What horror? like a one room type thing? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a one roomer. Instead of a bathroom, it's a Got freezer. It. Uh-huh. It's or like a frozen, the one where they're on the, on the uh, ski lift. Ski lift. Yeah. So the guy that perfected wet. They got for coal. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, but the interesting thing about this dude, because his career, like he just he's directed a shit ton of TV, a lot of just one offs. Yeah. You know, over the years. But he was a huge uh, DP at one point. Uh, huge. Well, he's worked on some big movies as the DP. Far and Away, Backdraft, mm. Arachnophobia, Always, The Abyss, wow. and Torch Song so Trilogy. So he, he's worked with a lot of directors. Yeah. He did double penetration on all those movies. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. He was worn out by the end of that, let me tell you. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to need more lube over here. Those yeah, are I'm, some, I'm, I'm DPing. <laughs> those are some good-looking movies. That's The the Abyss. So, like, let, let's get the wet guy back. You're let's right. get right. the wet guy back for the wet movie. Hey, he knows how to shoot water and stuff. <laughs> Look, are the spiders wet? Well, never mind. Just get him back here. Get him in here. Uh, this is... The third uh, listener requested episode for this year, and uh, we got the call here. Let's. Uh, I did. Can you tell by the way I'm, I'm much more chipper to put this call on than Equilibrium? Yeah, oh, sure. I just <laughs> had so much fun with this movie. All right, let's see the grand person that requested Hard Rain. Hi, this is Julia from Boston, and I'd like to request the 1998 movie Hard Rain, featuring Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman. It is. A wild ride of an attempted armored car theft by Morgan Freeman, Christian Slater being the um, the armored guard there. It includes a flood and speedboats and a chase through a cemetery. Uh, catastrophic floods, also with Randy Quaid in it. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have fun. Thank you for doing the request month. There we go. Yeah. Julia from Boston. Yes. Thank you. Thank oh, you yeah. so much. We had so much fun watching the movie, and I think that does it for us. I think <laughs> yeah, there we go. Actually, no. You know why? Because I need to hit play real quick. What? Son of a bitch. Coming soon to theaters. That's Listen, right. It's the VHS trailer game. Steven. Uh, I just want the points, okay? Put down the questions and walk away. <laughs> You're going to shoot me in the throat. Uh, this is... Uh, just tell me which points you want me to fuck. Uh, America's fuck point. favorite game about obsolete materials. I am your game master, Steven Sadak, mm. and these are my clues. As Ooh. you know, we're doing a... Uh, a little round table game here where we uh, I make some sure, questions. These sure. guys uh, try it's to like answer the McLaughlin them. group. Yes, yeah. it's, it's America's favorite game, despite being on not even America's favorite podcast. But. <laughs> 
All right, it's a, it was the VHS tape for the film Hard Rain. Eric Siska, thoughts. <laughs> ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Not ooh. enough time. Chris Cabin, let's go. Thoughts, the, Hard the, Rain. The Republicans do not want you to know what's in Hard Rain, and that's just a wet Morgan Freeman. That's a wet Mini Driver. They don't want you to know. Oh, he nailed wet, it. A wet Mini Driver. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to just... What is our score count? I have it here now. Uh, five. Did I win? Uh, no. Uh, Chris Cabin is in the lead with 28 huge points. Okay, they're oh, big. They're big uh, Eric Sisk is in second place with 25 mediocre points. 25? No, no. They're actually, Very close. actually I'm looking at Very them next close. to each other, and mine might be just a little bigger. Mm-hmm. I know there's less of them, but yes. these points well, are a yeah, little and then, and then you're measuring from the base, or are you measuring I'm from the ball? measuring from the asshole. And okay. then Andrew has 18 thick points. Oh, yeah, uh, dude. Nice. They're thick. Those are girthy guys. Yeah, dude. man. You know, it might not be a skyscraper, but it's certainly a barn door, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Back to Mundo. If anyone's still listening, we're going to play a little no. trivia game right oh, now. No. Uh, so, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows. Uh, you buzz Can you in. also tell we haven't recorded uh, an episode together in person in a while? For a bit. So, uh, yeah. When the mania sets in. Yeah, folks. I had the Nola virus there. I was hard rain coming out of my asshole for a couple days. <laughs> Not so fun. They uh, give me norovirus. Nora. Nola virus is just being hung over in New Orleans. Oh, Did yeah, that too. Uh, that bad, yeah. So uh, here we go. Round one. Mm. Oh, <clears throat> Game Master's Clue. An edgy college comedy that tried to revamp a teen TV star's career by rebranding him as the wacky friend with black hair and a plot so dark, a noose was on the cover. <gasps> uh, I saw. Oh, God. I saw Andrew first. Uh, is that Dead Man on Campus? It is Dead Man yes. on Campus for five big points. Everybody raised their hand. Thank you for yeah. acknowledging that. <laughs> the yeah. news that on the that. cover really did it. Mark Paul Gosler with yes. the black yes. hair? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. right. I remember yes. being horrified at that trailer for that die job alone. Whew. It's. I think that's probably an episode. It's yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I think what's it's also that, really raunchy. What's it that is. one guy with the funny name in that movie? Tom Everett Scott? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> your, your favorite guy his name from is like, Scary Christmas, Movie. Dracula 2000. His name's like Cortland. Uh, oh, uh, Cortland Monroe. Cortland Monroe. Lachlan Monroe. Right. Lachlan. Yeah. It's close. close. <laughs> not, not far. Actually, yeah, dude, because I think this is no reason to remember this at all, but I think it's because the only time I ever heard of his name, the little kid, I think, who portrayed Aha. In the uh-huh. Little Rascals movie. Oh, wow. Mm. He was the kid who just went, uh-huh. Okay, so like, not the band. No. no. Okay. Uh, it was, yeah, not aha. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> yeah. uh, his name was Cortland Mead, if I remember. Oh, right. okay. okay. Yeah, no, I thought his name was Cortland Manor, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Round two. Ooh. Uh, Game Master's Clue. Mm. A legal thriller from the king of legal thrillers, directed by a celebrated director with an all-star cast and starring a scrappy young New Englander <gasps> just a few months ago. Chris Cabin. The Rainmaker. The Rainmaker yeah. is number two. Five big points for Chris Cabin. Ooh. Coppola. That's a Coppola movie. It's yeah. a Coppola he's, joint. He's yeah. You know, I never saw it. It's mm-hmm. good. Is it's it? pretty good. I mean, like the grit. It. I mean, it's a Coppola movie, so it's it's pretty well made. So did they put that on this because Hard Rain, Rainmaker? <laughs> yes. Is probably. Where did the rain come from? <laughs> yeah, Matt, yeah. The rain. Matt Damon did it. It's. I think it's an episode <laughs> only because. Chris, do you know this? Many drivers wet in that too. No. The John Boyd stuff. I mean, uh-uh. John Boy is hilarious in it. Do you know who plays uh, Claire Danes' abusive boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's no. me. Yeah. I'm in a movie. Yeah. Wow. Andrew Shu made it into a major yes. motion picture. I'm talking, a, I, I'm talking to Francis for Cobra. <laughs> I escaped Melrose Place, Allison. <laughs> hey, Francis, I bet you hear this all the time. I'm just going to be real with you, man. Godfather 3 is the best one. <laughs> Speaking of which, I just watched an SVU with Jane in it. Oh, wow. Where she's an alcoholic whose abusive husband is trying to get her locked up so they can take her baby. I like that. Uh-huh. It's Ooh. quite crazy. Folks, wow, that sounds like a plot of a Melrose Place episode. Yeah, okay, and man. people need to get back into the Melrose 210, which is our Patreon show where it we is. talk about Melrose Place and 90210. It's a hot item. We're done with this game now, right? No, we're not. <laughs> we got two more, and now it gets difficult. Oh, boy. Two okay. more. Two more, yeah. Bum, 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 uh, bum, bum. Game Master's Clue, round three. Uh, uh, just another serial killer thriller from the late 90s. This one is a southern setting, and the serial killer kidnaps the detective's son. It's This one's a tough one because it's like, it's just, oh, it's, it's a, we're down in the south, and it's a, 
getting hot here, kidnapping these kids. Uh, just another serial killer thriller from the late 90s. This one has a southern setting. Uh-huh. Serial killer kidnaps the detective's son. Detective mm. son? I mean, uh, you know what? I, just because it's so stupid and I don't think it's going to help anybody, the lead detective, or maybe he's an FBI agent, mm-hmm. is uh, Detective Lacrosse. Lacrosse. <laughs> His name is Lacrosse in this. Not film. Lacroix. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right. Number four. Uh, four big points. Tribune trivia. According to an interview with writer and director uh, Jeb Stewart in Premier Magazine, yeah. he had originally uh, intended to make this movie back in the 1980s under the title "Going West in America" with Sidney Poitier, Robert Duvall, and Kevin Bacon in three main roles. I will say it's actually helpful a little bit. Because Sidney Poitier is a black man, and that lets you know that there's a black man in the lead in the serial killer movie. That's kind mm. of rare. Uh, Chris Cabin? Just Cause? It is not Just Cause. Oh. Chris Cabin's uh, out of the round. Uh, uh, Andrew Jupin? 187? It is not oh. 187. Now it's Aunt Eric is alone. Yes. You, you want to move on? Yeah, let's, go, yeah, let's diminish this return for me. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't going to help anything. I'm not going to get this. Uh, no, you might get it. You'll get it for, for one of the stars. Uh, the hunter is tracking the killer. This is the tagline. The hunter is tracking the killer, but the killer is setting the trap. I mean, like, this is the most bland uh, serial Jesus. killers horse shit you'll ever see. <laughs> what the fuck? Is I don't know, this is a secret movie. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I might like whatever this turns out to be. Oh, oh right. no. You know, I think no. You, might, you, you already might, lost. No, no. Uh, yeah, you're I, a loser. I'm right. still Oh, for two points. He's two the points. game master, not you. <laughs> Calm yourself. Uh, yeah. your That's honor. where you get your marching orders. What is this, too. a Francis Ford Coppola legal thriller? Oh! Uh, <laughs> the game so, maker. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, the, yep. Uh, so uh, uh, the yes. second build star in this film is Danny Glover. Southern. Oh, yeah. Okay, and it's not Saw. It's not Saw. It's like 90. This is all 98-ish. Oh, my God. Does, does he happen to have pornography in his car in this movie? I can't remember. I don't think I've ever seen this movie, actually. Oh, oh, oh okay. Would, yeah. So you're doing a jam you don't even know. <laughs> and then finally, for one big yes, point. Yes, do one point. Uh, Dennis Quaid is the lead. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so Dennis can I say, Quaid. I, now I know what it is. Well, okay. I uh, could still guess it I know, here. And I, I know. have. What's that? Like, I still have 90 minutes here on the <laughs> yes, clock that I can guess this. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, dude, if you can remember through. me incessantly t- referencing this over the years, Danny Glover does indeed have pornography papered all yeah, over the inside of his does. car. All right, movie. it's called Frequency. It is not. It's, it's called Switchback. switchback. It's Switchback. Wow. A movie no one remembers. I no. don't remember this at all. And, and I had it, nothing to do in 90. The thing about the, the, the Southern thing's a little bit of a throw because it's like winter in oh, the yes. South. Okay. Oh, you yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> it can be winter in the South, <laughs> as I understand but it. But it's kind of funny because when I thought it was Switchback and then I was like picturing Danny Glover in a yeah. winter jacket and yeah. i was like well no yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so last one this one's also a little on the obscure side game master's clue mm. a star-studded geezer pleaser of the <laughs> highest order Ooh. this one is a los angeles set neo-noir with sexy twists just to note this movie's title was reused in a much more popular supernatural franchise about a decade later Huh. A star-studded geezer pleaser of the highest order. This one, a Los Angeles set neo-noir with some sexy twists. Just to note, and this is the helpful one, this movie's title was reused in a much more popular f- supernatural franchise. Uh, just to take a letter, Chris Cabin. Mulholland Falls. It is not Mulholland Ooh, Falls. That's actually where mind was, my mind yeah. was going as well. Um, mm. Yeah, Mulholland Falls is a geezer, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> big cast, big cast in that sucker. I'm going to move on to the trivia. Uh, this The box office take for this movie was disappointing. That's, <laughs> that was just... Water. That's, uh, that's what okay. just stupid. Great, great, great. Great uh, trivia there. <laughs> no, that's, that's just, really helping me. That's me fucking with IMDb. Uh, or the better one, which is Reese Witherspoon's first nude scene. She was not naked again on screen until she appeared in Wild in 2014. Huh. So Reese Witherspoon's fucking around in this movie as one of the youngerish people. Uh, interesting. In- I did not know that she did nudity. We're not, now everyone's going to watch this movie. <laughs> um, any, uh, can I move on? Again, I do think that Supernatural... It, 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 later in the aughts, this was a supernatural. The title later in the aughts, like, is or, what like in the aughts, like mid aughts, kind of yeah. very vague. Uh, all right, uh, some people can buy their way out of anything except the past. Mm. Dog shit. Mm. <laughs> Keep moving it on. So we're at two points now. Yeah, we're down to two points. <sighs> okay, great. Susan Sarandon is in this film. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I still got uh, nothing. Oh, man. And lastly, Teaser just trying to think are... of titles of the fucking TV <gasps> oh, show. Oh, fuck. Yep. Okay. Uh, and finally, Paul Newman is in this film. I got it. Yep. Twilight. It is Twilight oh, for one big point for Eric Siska. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. of course. I won the game. <laughs> and now, uh, yeah, uh, Paul Newman plays a shimmery vampire in that movie. Yeah, that's and, right. uh, yeah. He puts uh, Susan Sarandon on his back and climbs a tree. <laughs> it's really sexy. I was. Uh, because you Fuck. said series in that first one? I said franchise. Oh, franchise. I, and my brain was just thinking television. Yeah, so I, yeah. was thinking, I was thinking like, so paranormal. I, I was like, is there a neo-noir called Underworld? <laughs> oh. it's, that's a, just as a guess, it's not a terrible guess. I mean, well, Gene Hackman would have to be the werewolf then in that, <laughs> oh, dude, in yeah, that situation. The Taylor Lautner. Just take yeah, a, he would have to be. I always have shirt my shirt off. Uh, long hair at first, <laughs> really long hair at first. Yes, Garner, James Garner is fucking around in that movie. Yeah. I, oh, wow. I, never, I never saw that. That one is like, were, I kind of want to watch that. It's, movie. A, yeah. it's a Sunday afternooner. There, if you want to see men wearing hats, yeah, it's pretty Twilight. good. Yeah. So there you go. That's the, the VHS trailer, is. James. Everyone, everyone got a little Woo. bit of point. Eric got one more point, which is fantastic. Yes, great. How many points did you get, Steve? I got zero. That's right. <laughs> I want you to put that in the count every time. <laughs> As long as Eric can just continue through playing this, thinking Steve's a loser the whole time, <laughs> we'll be fine. If he's, in th- if he's in third out of fourth instead of third out of third. Let's, I, I, yeah, uh, so there you go. I am a good winner, actually. Uh, a good winner. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I, I oh, just okay. won. Yeah. <laughs> won a point. This, so, um, it's not nothing. Uh-huh. What do you got there, Steve? Oh, no, you start. Oh, no, I was just going to say this movie is also written by Graham Yost, which mm-hmm. is fucking cool. Uh, yes. Graham Yost, yeah. of course, Justified. Really stoked. We got some footage out. I think there's even a trailer for that new Justified. Like, oh, I didn't even know we were doing it. He's again. it's a it's a mini suit. We're not like down in the holler. Like he's somewhere going after somebody. Wow. Going to the big city. <laughs> I think it is. It is kind of. Like, I think he might be in Detroit. Actually, oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for Justified, so I'm excited for that retur- to return. Uh, yeah. What also returned was The Mandalorian, and we are recapping that on Patreon. We are doing that. Patreon.com yeah, right? slash We Ate Movies, and I apologize for mentioning it. It's like space. Quite justified right. so it's kind of it's close. space yeah, justified yeah, yeah. Exactly. Is, i mean you know even got justified himself in there farting around in I, this uh, a little that's bit true. That's but true. Yost, the other thing gramios did was speed and this and I, if the imdb is to be believed i kind of believe it because it it tracks so neatly that this was for a while in development considered a speed seek a potential speed sequel and they're like ah don't do that because it, it like, feels yeah. like speed. what would they call it slow <laughs> like speed boats wet maybe wet. they'd call it wet speed two wet which they did wind up doing <laughs> i mean it was two. literally yeah. they got their boat but it was just way bigger i guess well, um, yeah i guess yeah, they were like all right it's gotta be a boat give me boat <laughs> ideas and this is one of the boat ideas and the other one was speed two cruise control because they it, also did noah's oh no i mean I've been traveling back to biblical times. It's, oh, no. Oh, right. There's 65. <laughs> this ark needs two of every animal. Let's go, two. Oh, God. Sounds more like a Bill and Ted script. Yeah, actually, um, yeah. It's kind of weird that Dennis he never... Hopper is God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's weird that he never did uh, a Speed 2, for example. I yes. mean, he's obviously not afraid of franchises anymore. Maybe he, he was at of, first, uh, though. Maybe. Yeah. I, he did. I think it, it is after speed. He also wrote fucking Broken Arrow. Yes, that's. I mean, that's like a high octane action. These are a all train there. All this pluses is, to me. Yeah. These are all good. I mean, no, all I'm not these saying are it's bad. I'm just saying that like Broken Arrow could have possibly also been a speed sequel. Yeah, oh, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. but that there. seems like a speed underground. Sequel. It's a it's a <laughs> mine cart or Jack whatever his name is the the character that Keanu plays. Um, could also go to space because this motherfucker also wrote Mission to Mars. I do think that Christian Slater's career was eaten by Keanu Reeves a little bit. Sure, yeah. Because sure. I mean, like it's just they're they're in the right mold. They're almost the same age, kind of the same mold. Like you could definitely imagine Christian Slater in Point Break. It wouldn't be as good. But, but the thing but is, it wouldn't be as good. It would be. Is like a new kind of face, but you know. Fucking Christian Slater, man. Yeah. You know, we're kind of derivative off of something here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's kind of part of the problem yeah. is like, I, and I think Christian Slater is great. I yes. got nothing against him. He does just kind of sound and frankly look in the in the younger days exactly like Jack Nicholson. And yeah, more of this, I think, is <laughs> right. what the question was. Wait, Not this. I mean, Christian Slater has been in a fucking hundred movies. And so he, was yeah, also, he, he had, you know, issues with a substance abuse, and yeah. domestic sure. violence or whatever. He was else. in the there movies. Was... Of course. 
<laughs> the Tom Sizemore School of Acting. Oh, God. Rest in peace. Uh, uh, I mean, like, that's the thing. Yes. Christian Slater was hard edged, but yes. like the thing with Cano is the hazy thing. Yes. That, that he's always in a daze. Even like you cannot separate, like you're watching him. Like he's one of those actors, you're just watching him. He's only gotten harder with the actions. Right. Because uh, he, he was easy breezy and everyone yeah, yeah, else yeah. had a stick up their ass, you know? Exactly. Like you watch reality thing. bites and Ben Stiller. Like, Until God. someone killed his fucking dog and then he. Well, that's right. <laughs> but I think the, and then, but the other part of it is I think Slater is just always has always been vaguely unlikable. And that works in certain things like Heathers or, uh, I don't even know. Robin Hood, Prince. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Like scummy. You know what I mean? Like he's got that scum. I'm kind of a scumbag Jack Nicholson thing. Like even here, like you imagine this with like Keanu and it's like, Oh, I like that guy. Here, I'm like, shit, this guy's kind of a sarcastic little bitch, isn't he? Right. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's, I don't know, kind of what I found interesting about the movies. There's no, I mean, there's a clear hero in Christian Slater. But, like, yeah. even still, you're like, ah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Randy Quaid is 100% getting the drop on Keanu Reeves. <laughs> he does not get the drop on Christian Slater necessarily. That's true. Yeah, Christian Slater kind of like <laughs> sees right through the, the Quaid. Red, Randy Quaid's like, hey, look over there. And he's like, what? What am I looking at? Why am I looking over here for so uh, long? There could be some tasty waves out here. <laughs> hey, you say you say the dam's about to break. <laughs> Hang ten, man. Yeah, don't don't mind that clicking sound. That's just my phone. <laughs> yeah, just keep talking about the rabbits, there, Keanu. <laughs> Oh man, uh, this movie starts off. I, you know, first of all, right out the gate, alternate uh, Paramount logo. Yeah. It's a stormy uh, night up on the mountain. Yeah. It's so funny because we pan down from it like it's a real mountain. Which number one, your movie's based in Indiana, which doesn't have <laughs> number two. Nowadays, I'm imagining you know Picard climbing it with all of his his Yellowstone friends <laughs> trying to. Get to the best app there is. Oh, no. <laughs> Adventure Time pillow person. It's raining up here. Oh, thank God. Christopher Pike, someone from my own universe in this commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at all that flooding. Okay. How much for me to do a swan dive down into the town center? How much? Come on. And something that's... Red and Stimpy, you two are incorrigible. <laughs> Quiet over there. Oh, yes, I know, I know, Ren. Don't whiz on the electric fence. I got it. Oh, Perry Mason, can't you get... A little leg up. Can't you be a little that's, more happier? That's HBO. That's HBO. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Have that's, you not seen this Paramount no, commercial? Not, that we're talking? I, I dude, I dude, it is fucking... Reddit's to be is in it. It's so what? stupid. Yeah. It is a commercial where all of like the stars of Paramount Plus kind of shit... Beavis and Butthead is in it. Oh, and they're all no. like hiking up the Paramount Mountain like it's Everest. What? Yes. Did we not learn anything? All the no. fucking multiverse, like the, the fucking uh, uh, Space Jam, yeah, the fucking sure. Ready Player One, they all fucking failed. Well, at least this did is they? just like a 60 second ad spot. I don't think yeah. they did well. I mean, maybe internationally. I don't know about it. I, I think we'll be seeing way more of our friends Space Jam and <laughs> Oh, Ready you think Player so? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think we're seeing Ready Player Two. I'm not sure. Maybe if that's Ready ever Player happen. TV. Well, show. that dude. What's that dude's name that wrote that fucking book? The porn guy, uh, Ernest uh, Klein. Yeah, yeah well, that th- there is a book called Ready Artemis, Player Artemis, right? Yeah. Or yeah, or, oh, that's right. It's Artemis. But See, yeah, yeah. you couldn't call it Ready Player Two because that motherfucker never had a friend to play video games with. <laughs> that's yes, true. that's the joke I wanted to make. <laughs> Even though I did write a sequel, it couldn't be called Ready Player Two because motherfucker don't have no friends. <laughs> Fuck that guy and his weird poetry. Yeah, that dude. It, you know what? You know what would be a great. You know, how sometimes they have like uh, you go on the store counter, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like uh, guess the jelly bean. Yeah, I would like to play. Guess how many fucking dupe accounts online that guy has <laughs> creeping all over the internet. It's a lot, and it's okay to like Ready Player One, but listen, you got to look up this guy's poetry. It's some sick shit, dude. It'll <laughs> fucking ch- it'll color your hair white. All the way around to say, I think the cool kind of weird coincidence that winds up happening now not it was not the case in 1998 but now uh as we saw uh, just at the movies um paramount has the scream franchise yes. these last two movies they've had the scream franchise and we are opening the the title font is the scream font it is. yeah it's the scream font it's the you wouldn't steal a car font mm-hmm. oh, it's not. crazy oh i think i'm getting call from base camp hello <laughs> Well, no, that I don't know it. I don't really like scary movies. <laughs> what? How dare you talk to me like that on the phone? Got me like a what? 
Wait, is your is show only your face is a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> or is you a, okay? I'm a little confused. I'll be honest. What, what's your favorite weather event? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? You keep talking to me like this. I'm gonna get my friend Riker down here. You're not gonna like it. He's big. He plays a trombone, and he's going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> no, he's putting data in a garage door. <laughs> oh yes, and that's that's the end of that. Speaking of other intellectual <laughs> properties, in Forrest Gump, was this one of them? Was it, there was hard rain sometimes? Came in sideways. Came in sideways. Oh, yeah, that's there, was, right. there was a hard rain, and there was Morgan Freeman was there. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or maybe it's a reference to the classic Bob Dylan song, "Hard Rain's, Rain's Gonna, gonna Fall." fall. Oh, Sometimes that's... Jenny would have rain in her crotch, and I didn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> There's a storm in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. We <laughs> went to Jenny's old dam and threw rocks at it till the water fell out. She didn't even have any clouds around there either. Just a couple bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did. He, he does fail at having sex there a couple of times. Yes. <laughs> I got to change my socks. Well, it's only one time that matters. Dude. Yeah, it's boop. <laughs> Haley that's Joan right. Osmond. But yeah. bam. <laughs> Um, this movie was originally called The Flood, but they... Became- Jenny had a flood. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boring Not title. Not for you, Forrest. Uh, yes. yeah, the Flood is kind of a boring title. I, boring I, title. Well, also, yeah, then you're going to get the fucking Christians all over you, probably. Oh, right, yeah. because because what, what was his name? Noah? Noah, Noah dude. Yes. He built the ark. I, I, if I right. were these people... I would said be- to Noah, you're going to watch a hard rain... All right, that's <laughs> If it was me, I would be playing up that Christian. At least in the marketing and yeah. shit, I would be oh. like, "Come on, no, yeah, of course." It's, there's undertones. I mean, well, there's. I mean, you know, yeah. not for, well. There's undertones with all the water. Well, but sure. I think, ooh, dumb water pun. Uh, but I mean, if you amped up all this really dumb stuff about like Minnie Driver caring about that church and yeah, the, the stained glass, there's true. your you know. That's true. And, and then, the end song, which is terrible, yes. is a very Christian. It, Lift a, me up. Is it an actual the, the, Christian? They're a Christian rock band. Oh, okay. there it is. I forget who it is. The uh, clay of we'll jelly. Back on a Jars of clay. Days. That's what it is. Yeah, which is if me up. Yeah, so that's a very Christian thing. So we start with this CGI pan from the P- Paramount Mountain. We leave Picard and his friends. Yes. And Bye-bye. <laughs> it's uh, this CGI thing. We do see, like, we're, we're going through the town. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty effective. It's, yeah. It's you know, like, like a, this movie looks good. It's yeah. a fake, you know, single take situation. Yeah, which McDonald's. Is kind of cool. Yeah, we do have Dude, a CGI every, McDonald's. Everybody noticed the CGI McDonald's yeah. but me. Are I'm, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Dude, I was sober as a judge you know watching this movie yesterday. There, I mean, some good city, city planning it's, here in Hunt. Huntingburg, Indiana, because it's on the outskirts of town. It, it is because also just because like it's all Monday, like it's all green and yes, muddy, yes. and then there's the big bright yellow. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. to their credit, that did bring people right in. True. I mean, it's the, the yeah. golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it, well, hey. They were golden. You know, it'd be cool if like Grimace and the boys were in this movie too. Oh, hey, Ronald, I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know that there was some fucking hapless fucking McDonald's employee just calling every 40 minutes. Can we close? Like, yep. Nope, we cannot. <laughs> if yeah. someone is rowing out of town and they choose to buy a fish fillet <laughs> before they leave, you are going to be there to serve it to them. God damn it. Who says you need dry feet to get this meat out there? <laughs> huh? Who says that? Who? Where in the show me the here's the manual. It's 700 pages. You show well, me. The, right. new, the new Mick Wet is debuting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Rory, put a sign out in front. Uh, d- you know, don't worry about any sandbags. Just put a sign in front. Say the Mick Wet is here uh, <laughs> yes, for so, ninety nine cents. Uh, so all, all this is sous vide. Actually, it's very hot water. <laughs> We've just it's been dipping in yeah, there for quite uh, some time. Soggy beef, you know, for St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> dude. The the Mick Wet man. That's what we call him. My grandfather got stuck in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I just put it out here right now because I think I've already said it once, but maybe I've just said it before we were on the air. This was the first time I watched this movie. Yeah. And why I think I think it's so much fucking fun is that this movie is really just like a Western heist robbery movie. Yes. Yeah. Stuck inside a disaster movie? What a fantastic idea. Right. Yeah. Uh, you think so, but then you'll watch the movie Hurricane Heist and right. you'll feel differently. Yes. <laughs> well, from, you know, 
I've only seen one, which I think yeah. is a good movie, and then the other is Hurricane Heist, <laughs> yeah. which I avoided all those years yeah, ago. For sure, you're fine. You know what's a good <laughs> wet movie that was of recent era was what's Crawl. It? Yeah, that yeah, was a Crawl. Good one. I was thinking oh, about Crawl the other day. Yeah, Still yeah. gotta see that. Yeah. I'm behind a fun on a lot movie. of wet movies. Fun movie. It's good dripping one. Movie. I looked at it the one time I had a blast in theater, and it's. It, I, I imagine it would hold up. It's, it's, yeah, no, a similar experience. Yes. I had a really good time in the theater. Haven't seen it since, but yeah. Um, there's like so, gators in that movie. Oh, just, yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's another flood, and there's a bunch of gators coming it's, at you. If oh. you want like contained flood movies, yes. that's a good one. Yeah, I like it. yeah yes. There's some guns too. So. And if you already got some salt, you got some berry pepper there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, I love he's that ready guy. to go. <laughs> love that berry pepper. Oh, he's all over it. Um, a little over season. <laughs> Send this crawl back a little too much pepper. Uh, just a little cut. Maybe cut one or two Look, scenes. I like the level of Riley Kyo, though. I like. Yeah. Oh, she's back. in it. Yeah. Isn't she the lead? Right? No, no, it's Kayla Soldar, Scaldario, or whatever look, her name is. Yes, it's the. They look almost. They like do. They do look a lot. Kayla like. Sicario. What is she was in one of the latter pirates movies. She's like. Is oh, she, um, I is she the actress. skins? Possibly, actress, yeah, I think she's probably an actress. So we come <laughs> in, we tighten in on Randy Quaid, who's directing Traffic. Yes, uh, aided by Mark, one of cinema's greatest perverts, Mark Rolston. He, he, like, he's not as bad as Dil- his career wasn't as ruined as Dylan Baker because he's kind of a tough guy pervert. Yes. Yeah, that's the hell. Well, that's because he was actually like. Like I guess you could call there. I guess you could call Dylan Baker's performance scary. Yeah, yes. but like that's not the word I would go for. Yeah, his performance in Shawshank is scary. Like yes. the way, before they get him. Who he, is this guy in Shawshank? He's the rapist in Shawshank. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. So that he's guy, that, uh, Yeah. He's big also creep. in uh, The Departed. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, pretty pretty bigish. Is he one of the uh, Departed? <laughs> he he does die. Oh, in good, yes, yeah. <laughs> and like he's not a pervert in this movie until the very end. You're like, oh yeah. well, welcome to the movie, Mark wow. Ralston. It's a weird what a move, dude. What a <laughs> fucking that's, dude. You're that's 11th. the only part that's highlighted in his script for them. <laughs> like, look, we thought of you immediately. An eleventh hour pervening when yes. like the guy's just kind of been an asshole most of the yes. time, yeah. except for the fact that he keeps the only clue that you have is like every time it's the other guy from Justified who was on it for a while. He got yes. killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, tall, the, skinny dude, the big, big eared guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must. Maybe he's like Graham Yost guy. His yeah. views. Yeah, it is. It seems, seems to follow him around. But he, you know, he's got a thing for Mini Driver's character, and this other dude keeps like interfering yes. with it the whole time which is like the only hint someone and i don't know who did it but at the beginning of this game uh this movie someone put in the unlimited bullets code because yeah, they are just fucking yes. flying through i bullets. noticed yes. that man man once he gets that shotgun it's yeah. like yeah that's just permanently loaded Dude, randy quaid if he was a video game character with this rifle you'd look up at the ammo and it's just the fucking infinity side <laughs> this dude is going to town with like just in you fact, know, a rifle i think only mini driver is the one that runs out of bullets at yes no. that's right well when they get to the automatic one they shoot it like it's a michael bay movie yes. like the camera's shaking and like here we go it's fucking wild but like randy quaid's gun looks like it could hold maybe like 25, 30 rounds yes. tops. And, and he's it, <laughs> really going. <laughs> well, you know, I guess John Woo was supposed to direct this at some point. And oh, is that right? It would have been a better movie Ooh. for it, but John it, Woo, things he does good with. Boats, guns. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, it's all here. Yeah. Christian Slater. I mean, uh, actually, yes. Yeah, <laughs> if it was a martial arts movie and there was no guns involved, this could be kind of cool. If it was a bank heist only by uh, martial artists. Ooh, that would I be something. That. Oh my god, a ninja bank heist movie. Yeah, that has yeah. to exist, right? You'd think. So. I'm sure it's on Tubi. Yeah, I was just about to say, check the bowels of Tubi. Imagine you guys like, if you put a real budget under under such a winning concept. You guys are like uh, Hollywood noting this movie to death. Oh, so we love your script, Graham. Hard Rain, amazing. <laughs> uh, what if uh, instead of water, it was just ninjas? Like every <laughs> drop of rain is a ninja instead. How about if Dan Florick was a ninja. <laughs> oh, just dude. why don't you just, just change that? Up? Yes, there's a mythical dam full of ninjas, <laughs> and it's breaking loose. The uh, dam's gonna break. A bunch of ninjas are gonna fall yeah. out. This is, I am getting more and more excited about this movie by the second. And you could call it hard ninjas, and everybody would think it meant one thing, but it just Ooh. meant them ninjas go hard. <laughs> yes. uh, but uh, Randy Quaid is a. Uh, a sheriff, like a, a lame duck sheriff, it seemed. He was voted out of office, man. He is yeah. pissed about it. Too. Not thrilled. No, not it, thrilled. He wants to. Well, no, because that's the that's you know what? He's reserved at first. 
Because, like, when the mayor comes by yes. and you know he wants to spit in his fucking face. Yeah, he definitely but does. But it's, it's, it's the two idiots, Phil and uh, overall, I forget, uh, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, Wayne is the creep, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Phil's the tall guy with yeah, the ears. Yes. And they're like, you know, uh, why don't we burn his house down? <laughs> or why don't we leave a dead cow in the We're house? Living, yeah, Which yeah. a dead cow does come up in it, this movie. It certainly does, dude. You got a jump scare out of me. <laughs> It's like that old man's head falling out of the boat in Jaws. But before then, it's just a yam fest with these two fucking cops. Like, what do you think about birthdays? Do you like birthdays? I like birthdays, too. Well, that's our our boy Wayne, man. He's fucking pissed off that the flood's coming down on his birthday. Well, this is the thing. And Morgan Freeman's got a crew and Randy Quaid's got a crew. And you don't know how they're going to interconnect until the end of the movie. But they both are besieged by annoying sidekicks. And it's like, yes, we, need, we don't need this many annoying sidekicks. And what is with this town? Because, uh, you know, when we get Betty White and everyone later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All we, you know, we remember this in 73. So every time. So the town just routinely floods. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know 73 to 98 is a period of time, but it's not that crazy. No. For this level of flooding, you would uh, that would be a little suspicious to me. Oh yeah, I mean, what were we saying? Seventy, what did you say? Seventy three, so twenty five years. Yeah. Yeah. So, one that wipes out the entire. Town. Well, I guess this one's heavier than that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, has was, to be the big but one. Yeah. It seems like what is going on with this town? The derelict infrastructure of this dam, whatever this fucking thing is, and what is with all the rain? <laughs> I know it's called hard rain, yeah, but, it's but a, it's a lot, lot of rain. Open on a weather report so that yes. like really drive it home. For Good me. call, actually. Yeah, because like what you know, is Did this it, an unprecedented yada yada? They never say- pretty kind of calm with it to the point where Mini Driver is just like, yeah, I'm running gas generators to pump water out of the church. And I'm like. That seems a little crazy. You got like six of them. Yeah, it's, yes. you, you're, you're, you're doing nothing. You, yeah. do, you you might as well be doing fucking nothing. Because well, it's weird because they never say the word hurricane. And I mean, like, you know what I mean? Because that would make it, it's but a big it's storm. But Indiana. So yeah, that's yeah. another question. But, Mark. Why? How do I not get a fucking opening scene like the scene in Twister where it's some yes. guy eating a donut, coffee yes. spills yes. on him like Ooh. an asshole. <laughs> and then asshole. he goes and's like, there's two storms they're going to hit. And then the little twister scene. Da, 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 thing. Oh, ne- yes, you're PG. Oh, crap. It's a huge fucking storm for hunting birds. Holy shit. There's like four coming at once and it's all over. What's the name of this town? Hunting bird. That's like four names in one. Be- better what? alert the bank. <laughs> They gotta get their money out of there. Oh my god, get it to Fred's house. The that, money's gonna drown. That is an interesting note that the bank has the banks have been clearing up all the money along the river, you know, presumably multiple yes. towns. To the point at which this armored car has three million dollars in it. Three uh, million gazulas. Yes, we say. see the last of the pickups with uh, Christian Slater and uh, his uncle Ed Asner. His, uh, you find out that their uncle and nephew about an hour and fifteen minutes into this ninety-seven minute movie. A little too late, I would say. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, you might even say it doesn't matter. A lot uh, of late reveals, I'll yes. say on this. One. <laughs> the yeah. bank manager, played by April O'Neil's boss from the first Ninja Turtles. Oh movie. wow! Come help me with my fucked up son, yeah. Judith Hogue. <laughs> All right, Dan. <laughs> And they're trying to do a little funny thing here. Yeah. It looks like he's getting robbed. Oh, uh, yeah. yep. yes. Yeah. But he's not. It's just Ed Dasner <laughs> telling him about how 9-11 was actually done by the Saudis. <laughs> oh, man. If only he could have warned us because it was right before it happened. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the I, had Saudi- a dream, I had a dream last night. I had a dream about those goddamn Saudis. <laughs> All right, go to bed, Grandpa. <laughs> They're coming for us. The flight schools. <laughs> By the way, I just did the inflation calculator for ni- three million dollars in nineteen ninety eight would be five point five million today. Oh yeah, it's not bad. so it's even. It's it's even I'd put a dead cow million. in a mayor's house for. You know. I would put a dead mayor in a cow's house <laughs> for three million clams. Come on. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? This? Are you supposed to eat this guy or what? <laughs> What's that sash say? Oh, I mean, mayor. Okay. Well, I'm not sure I can get that on. I'm not doing it. Whatever he, he's asked me to do, it, I'm not doing it. I will not be doing that. They put grass. They put a bunch of grass on it. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm I guess. It. So I guess Asner probably more on the McVeigh tip at that point. Yeah. Or more than sure. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was yeah. planning and having calls with Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, no, some of his stuff kind of makes sense. All right, Terry <laughs> Nichols, shut up. Put Tim on the phone. <laughs> it, I mean, Ed Asner is like, so they get in the car. 
And this is the unlikable Christian Slater thing. This job fucking sucks. You <laughs> wasted your life, you old prick. <laughs> yep, <laughs> totally, <laughs> man. Wow, eat fucking oh, shit, I guess old timer. I wasted my fucking <laughs> life having a house and a family. I guess my family's garbage. <laughs> I, I might as well rob an armored truck. I don't know. Yeah, it is just like he needs to be saying something here about like, I worked hard. It wasn't all wine and roses every time because like, spoiler alert, Ed Asner's fucking in on it, even though he is hilariously shot in the throat right at the beginning of this movie. (laughs) But like he's in on it. So like that you should set that off with like, you know, your your aunt Lucille and I didn't always have it so great. And the house is falling apart. And, yeah, yeah, but that's actually adds, call, him, call him Uncle Charlie once. Just and once. Then I'm like, sure. then I'm in on it. But it also it adds tension to the scene and a little more complexity if you do know he's in on it from the yes, beginning. Yeah. And then like the crossfire is a little bit more of a hiccup and like. Maybe, God bless it, we kill Kenny earlier. Oh, dude, you bastards. Man, <laughs> oh, man, was I waiting for this guy to die. Uh, yeah, because even, even if it's like Uncle Charlie's driving the truck, you know, uh, yeah, you're right. you might be right. I guess I wasted my life doing a job. <laughs> But uh, maybe may, one day my luck might change. A little, little, little something. It's like, oh. like beat, beat, beat. Yeah. And that day just might be today, kid. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you'll see. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Something, something. Something. But, but something. yeah, so going to Morgan Freeman. And you know what? I was... I, I, I really like Morgan Freeman in this movie. I, I'm just yeah. so used to him being an old, old man at this point. Oh, yeah, like that yeah. appearance at the Academy Awards, which just mm-hmm. might be his last. It's man. just he's and not he's, looking great. He's exciting in this movie. He's he like, is. He's very like, you know, for lack of a better word, butch. Like he is really like. Yeah, he's can, energetic. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is the Nurse Betty phase where like he's trying to do both. Because what he started out with, like Street Smart, the thing that where he really, really broke through. He's like a villain. Like he's like yeah. a, a guy you're supposed to be scared of, and he's like really affecting in that movie. Did someone have note direct that? By the way, I've never seen Street. Jerry, uh, scare the guy who did scare. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm Jerry I'm blank. S- yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like. Uh, I'm blanking. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Jerry so- blanking directed that. Movie. <laughs> uh. No. I mean, what Freeman is coming into like. He hasn't gone old man yet. Like yes. he hasn't. He isn't total Shawshank Redemption. Yes, exactly. Guy, right, like right. I'm all wisdom. That's what I'm here for. Sure, it's, he was it's post Shawshank. It's post Shawshank, but at the same time, he was young enough and vervy enough to be able to like be like, okay, I did Shawshank, but now I'm going to do the yeah. heist movie. Well, yeah. Shawshank, he was just like wise. He wasn't necessarily like derelict or anything. Yes. You know, he was just imprisoned. I think he has a silly cowboy hat and Nurse Betty. Do I, you know? I, I believe that he does. What was it? What was the hit? Was it with like Samuel Jackson with the Kangol? Well, what is with the Nurse <laughs> Betty? Everyone talking about Nurse Betty this, Nurse Betty that. It wasn't that great. No, it's bad. No, it's, it's a terrible a movie. movie. It's, um, also, it's also quite often uh, uh, requested on this, by the way. Jerry oh, Schatzberg. Schatzberg. Uh, but so we meet them. There, I want to know where this bar is. I think it's in town. It's in town. So it's like, all right, what, yeah, we are going to close up at some point, guys. And, you know, <laughs> it's it's Kenny, uh, who played by Michael Gorgian, who is the other guy in Salt Lake City Punk. Um, oh, he's other, Cocaine Bob. He's Cocaine Bob in Salt yeah, Lake yeah. City Punk. And I'm, and I'm sure he's he was on Party of Five for a hot minute. He other, was. He was Nev Campbell's boyfriend. Fuck, why do I know any of this? It's exciting. Fucking and, Cocaine Bob. Why don't you learn a math problem? And the other guy. Ray. Is the guy who is wasting Al Pacino's motherfucking time and heat. Oh, oh, yes, he is. And that dude, uh, what fucking, that guy, that guy directed, and I think he's in it, but he mm-hmm. directed the Snoop Dogg Gin and Juice video. <laughs> really? I, I think that's wow. Right. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, that's an accomplished artist. God uh, yes, he was wasting Pacino's motherfucking time. With that. Accomplished yeah. artist yeah. and great drink. Uh, Ricky Harris. Oh, best Ricky right? Harris. That's right. 2016. Yeah. That's shocking. Uh, but they're doing this thing where it's like, because Kenny is uh, played by Michael Gorgian, the most annoying character in all of this. Oh, God. Oh, the fact that this dude, because he deserved it, yeah, yeah. does not instantly die from the hilarious yes. injuries this dude sustains yes. in this movie. Fuck that shit. I was praying for this guy to get killed. But it is kind of great because he's like, oh, what do you want to do with your money, Ray? And blah, blah, blah. And Ray has this very annoying thing where he talks in Bible quotes. Oh, sure he does. Uh, 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 but excuse me, but uh, uh, Morgan Freeman really likes it. He needs it. <laughs> he it does. inspires Dude, him. It's like Hulk Hogan hearing it from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. He loves it. I love I love. Give me this- one of the weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bit where Morgan Freeman's like, 
hey, Kenny, help me with oh. my crossword puzzle. And he's like, well, I don't do crossword puzzles, Mr. Jim. And he's like, why don't you fucking look at the crossword puzzle? <laughs> and it just says, if you say one word, they go with the money, I'm going to kill you. That's and great. what's awesome is he's using like the cross yes, boxes yes. as much as he can. And then he just starts <laughs> writing the rest of it on the newspaper. <laughs> and the funny thing is, listen, I, I, I don't think I ever saw a trailer for this movie, yeah. you know. And so, yes, I definitely rented this movie. By the way, did anyone else watch this movie in theaters yeah, or uh, on, on VHS? Tape. It was tape. I yeah. think it was HBO or something. But gotcha, yeah, I yeah. saw it a few times. Yeah, um, for sure. But I, one, I was totally faked out by the uh, the Christian Slater Ed Asner getting the money thing yeah. at the beginning. But then also, like, I didn't know what Morgan Freeman's role was in the yes. movie. So he does that, and it fucking scared me. Dude, I never want Morgan Freeman to be mad at me. Uh, Holy shit. Excuse me. Uh, uh, do, you, do you think I got this one right? <laughs> uh, actually, I think it's Chattanooga. <laughs> no, I, I read think, a little closer. Oh, the, the Sunday CH. ones are always so hard to threaten people with. <laughs> oh, you're illiterate. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But it does really play into my thinking that this is like a, it's like a Western robbery movie because like, I mean, one motherfucker is wearing a cowboy hat through most oh, yeah. of this, but like, it's this gang. Yes. They just are there. You don't know anything about them. But like, once he slides that newspaper across, I was like, oh, this dude means fucking business. And these are the villains of the movie. It's a very cool review. And yeah, yeah. Dan Florek as this break, Man. pre-breaking bad ex-esque, like <laughs> crooked science teacher. That dude got so fired good. for fucking trying to take a student out doing, on a date. Probably. Absolutely. He was I'm, kissing somebody. Doing his best Kurt Van Houten. Like, just <laughs> yeah. an absolute stunning. Can I borrow a feeling, <laughs> Olivia? But an evil science teacher is a great trope. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, eventually Breaking Bad became amazing. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we need more evil science teachers and things the bombs the little gadgets the macgyvering isn't uh john stewart an evil science teacher in the faculty yes, yes he he's yeah. part reptile or it's, something. it's it's the goatee that does it that's oh, what turns yeah. him evil yeah that also guy looks his... okay with a beard but dude that goatee, no goatee was, no, <laughs> nobody looked at i had one that goatee it was terrible yeah i looked like an no, asshole no, with a goatee nobody Dan, looks good dan florek is like morgan freeman's kind of number two he's wearing this bucket hat and yeah. these like glasses with the tape on them he is a character straight out of the og taking a pelham one two three yes because he's in that fucking disguise such as it is and he's only referred to as mr whatever the fuck yes. the character name is which i thought was kind mr. of Moller miller yeah, it's like Molnar or something, yes, but it yeah, sounds yeah. like everyone's saying Miller. I, I kept on thinking uh, the one I got, the, because I guess you don't see him coming together like it, but the killing was high on my oh, mind. Yes. The way that the mixture of like the different kinds of people who yes. are doing this together, because I mean, Florek, you get like he has bom- he's made they have really planned this out. He's got yes. Ziploc bag bombs, dude. He's got a bunch of them. Like he just got a bag of these bombs and we don't even get to use all of them until the end. Yeah. Now, Ray, don't touch those. Those are my peanut butter sandwiches in case I get hungry. And that's in the, that's in the left cooler. In the right cooler is all the bombs. I'm not going to go to the McDonald's. That's, they're, they're trying to scam you. That's wasting money. Bring your sandwich from home. And I don't want anyone getting confused here because both the bombs and the sandwiches are, again, in those Ziploc bags. <laughs> Elliot, you cool out. Elliot, you go and cool out. Duh, my sandwich is ticking. <laughs> Yeah, eat that sandwich, Kenny. Go eat that sandwich. <laughs> you know what? Here, eat two of them just in case the first sandwich don't work. And Olivia, you go to bed. You're working too hard on this case, Olivia. You need to go to bed. Munch, you don't eat that sandwich, all right? <laughs> but Elliot, you cool out. <laughs> you hear me, Elliot? You cool out. I love fucking Dan Florek. I he's just awesome. Love him, and I'm yeah, so, so happy awesome. to the movie. Him being in this movie ups it like two points for me. Well, because uh, it's such yeah. a rarity. You never yes. get this flavor in these movies. And it's a great death, by the way. We'll get to that. <laughs> So like uh, oh, they're dry, they're having uh, Slater and Ed Asner having this argument, um, and uh, Ed Asner accidentally in quotation marks takes a spill down a hill, and they're stuck <laughs> in the in the in the in the mud there, and you know, or in the water, I should. Say. I don't, you know. Mm-hmm. I thought we called these things armored cars for a reason. Yeah, this bullshit. dude gets six inches into the water. He's like, it's stalled. <laughs> That's what they want you to believe. All those things are like made out of paper mache, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, this is also, we're working in a fantasy land where like 
the, uh, the, I mean, they say that the, the what the Coast Guard uh, isn't showing the National, the National, National, National Guard, the National Guard yes. isn't showing up. They would be there yes. <laughs> but at this point. They Whoa. would absolutely. Yeah, re- be well, regardless of uh, a single armored car driver calling the National Guard, yes. I mean, the fucking town's flooded. That's why, but, I'm sure the mayor made yeah. a phone call. <laughs> There's, they're there. The people are there. No, well, sorry, the- we had to send those boys over to Kosovo. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the peace. We're, we're all tapped out. Whoops, your town flooded because the boys were bombing Kosovo again. Oh, shit. I've never went in Indiana anyway. Just let it go. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, but yeah, so they're like stuck and like Ed Asner says that he calls the Coast Guard. But it, well, National, National, National Guard. Guard but saying. yes, he doesn't at all. He yeah, apparently he- calls you know Morgan, Morgan Freeman, Freeman and all them. So they they come. You know they they they, they arrive via boat, I believe. Or no, this is they're in cars because it's not it's that radio. It's two cars. Yes. Yeah. It's a whole thing where like there was just a like a dip in the road yeah. and yeah. it's all flooded out and they're on opposing sides of it. And it, I I think this is fucking cool, man. Because any time in a movie where like the headlights come on yeah. and like. The protagonist can't see who's... The, I was like, this is trouble. And like, <laughs> the boat thing, though, another question about this movie. Every single person owns a boat? Like, I don't what know is why you have so on? many... Well, dude, here's the thing. The f- we keep saying it's Indiana, I know. Yes. But maybe this town is indeed so prone to flooding that when you move there, they're like, hey, welcome to the uh, whole Hoggettsburg or wherever the fuck this town is. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, and they're like, listen, Better invest in a boat. Doesn't have to be nothing fancy. You can just have a rowboat. I mean, there is a mention of Our the town r- floods constantly. The river. So, yeah, maybe recreationally. Oh, well. I mean, sure. Yeah. yeah. But We're- it's just interesting that Minnie Driver's got a boat. Betty White's got a boat. Yep. Uh, everyone's I got a Hank's boat. I think Hank's got a boat later on. Everyone yeah. has a boat. You see, we're in this valley called the Bowl, <laughs> and everything fills. Yeah. It just it goes under immediately. You know what's funny? Funny though is I think all that stuff that we're talking about, like where is Paul Giamatti forecasting the superstorm? Yeah. Where is the specialty location of the bowl? All of those things make it lean way more towards disaster movie, yes. which I think like this movie is way better for being like this is right. a heist movie and someone left the fucking faucet on for too long and they don't acknowledge the yes. disaster movie parts of it that you would normally which, which is a strength, but at the same time. A little bit. Uh, maybe just one thing. It's only think- when you start picking it apart like we're doing right now. Sure. If you just, you know. I mean, yeah. I still think it's a fun movie. Do you think uh, Randy Quaid lost that election because the other guy was just like, no more floods. And Randy Quaid's like, well, you can't really. Pro- no more floods. No more floods. <laughs> this sheriff's, you know, the sheriff wannabe is trying to tell you that uh, there's going to be no more floods. Well, shit, Clark, he can't control the weather. <laughs> so you're pro flood. I'm voting you out. Sheriff, could you answer the people of this town one question? Why do you love floods so much? <laughs> Well, looks like you pray to your rain gods because there's a flood happening. <laughs> you know, there are dogs and cats, and you want them to drown? I guess you do because you love floods. Oh, and see, he's praying to rain gods. That's not a good Christian sheriff. <laughs> uh, you know what? And I, I take over in January. One more flood from fucking Sheriff Flood over there. Oh, no. Then he'll win, uh, you know, <laughs> God, the sheriff of uh, Murder Water County or whatever this is called. Yes. Uh, Correct. <laughs> But so here's so like now in hindsight, we now know that Ed Asner is in on it with Morgan Freeman. Morgan Mm. Freeman later also reveals that he feels bad that he didn't reveal to the rest of his gang that the other guy's in on it. Because that's what you need to do as more. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Am I going to rob? It it, it also goes both ways because it's like Morgan Freeman is like, all right, we're going to rob these guys. But good thing is we got a man on the inside. So we're just going to point guns and he's going to take care of this other guy. And then Asner needs to be like, oh, well, uh, Raise them to the sky. You yep. know what I mean? Like, we're, there's it's no all point short. That You know what? It's not worth it, Christian Slater, where it's all in short. Hands in the sky. I mean, exactly. I mean this is all I'm working with. If you're not going to tell Floric, you have to tell this fucking idiot Kenny. Yes. Because idiot Kenny is, of course, going to fuck it up. Well, How do you know he is going to fuck it up? Because he always fucks it up. <laughs> I mean, you're totally right. And this is what you do, though, man. Because there's, there's some, like, nonsense about, like, well, I was friends with Kenny's father, and I promised uh, uh, that man that you know when I got him killed in a robbery that I'd take care of his son, like or whatever it is. Right? All of the O'Hallahans get killed in robberies, and I, they're all working for me. I tried to snuff him out with a pillow in the crib. But he survived, so I say, give him a free pass. But that's the thing, though, is like if you know this whole thing is fake, 
give that dude a gun so he shuts up, but there ain't no bullets exactly. in it. Yeah, or there are blanks like, or something. You wouldn't need bullets. Or like, just go, you know, hey, Charlie, shoot him in the head. <laughs> shoot your him. own fucking, what is it, nephew? Kenny, Kenny yeah. Oh no no no! It's friends. Oh, later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just Ed Asner should just kill Slater. Oh that. Oh okay. yeah. Because you know why, dude? Because like, hey, this this kid's mouthing off at me, he call it saying off. I wasted my life. Oh, I <laughs> wasted my life. Well, it looks like your life's ended. <laughs> yeah, totally. Talk about expiration dates. I mean, it should be like, well, I was gonna let you in on all the money, but. You made fun of how I made a living for these last 30 years. Well, you probably the- think recycling's real. <laughs> Just be like, listen, kid, we're, we, we're going to make well on this. It's going to be 25 grand for you and a lot for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I just remembered uh, Christian Slater's name is Tom. Tom. Yeah. Which, yes. which is kind of buried in this. Yep. You know, we kind of, when he, we, he introduces himself to uh mini driver, like when there's like 30 minutes left of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. Yeah. Like he's like, leaving her someplace he's like i'm tom by the way it's like it's fucking 10 minutes left that's oh god that's amazing because the the same exact thing happens in grant in uh broken arrow oh really yeah he he shakes samantha mathis's hand and he's like hi i'm oh yeah the ending of it is him literally introducing himself that's right that's right is it mathis or morton it's I think it's Mathis. Mathis. i think it's mathis yeah morton is the other one mathis morton mathis morton well because isn't she she's in um Super Mario Brothers. Well, yes. yeah, no, but with Christian Slater, pump of the volume. Uh, pump of the volume. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so in so the lights are bright, and like Asner's like, oh well, we're getting robbed, and like you know uh, what do you call it there? Christian Slater's like, oh, he, he's pretending they're pretending not to rob. Like, oh, we'll just come by. Don't worry about it. You know, well, you know, we'll help you guys out. He's like, yeah. well, why are their lights so goddamn bright? You yeah, know, turn them off. You got to turn off your goddamn uh, floodlights. Hold them well, between your fucking knees. <laughs> what are we in the outback? Are you hunting kangaroos? Why you got those big lights up there? So I think Slater reaches for his gun, and in retaliation, Kenny shoots fucking Ed Asner in the throat. Oh my mm. god, nice. it is. And so that was not, that's it's like the first like big piece of violence in the movie. I was like, oh, it's this kind of movie. Yeah. Oh, spectacular. Because people just, get <laughs> shot in the throat. And he's just dying in a big pool of water at Asner. It's yeah. pretty great. In this moment specifically, because I think he does get like one word yeah. out to him or something, but you gotta be like, Tom, I'm in that. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> you know? Start swimming. Start swimming. It is kind of fucked up when like and Christian Slater like makes a break for it with the money, and they like s- swim or float over to the the armored car there, and you just see Ed Asner floating fucking <laughs> gut up in this water. <laughs> that dude does not get a proper burial at oh, all. Oh no! Think about how rotten that body uh, is when they find it. Oh, the a, bloat, dude. Can yeah, you like imagine? A, a month later, some dogs have been <laughs> chewing at it. Fucking, you know, some beavers were making a dam out of them. <laughs> of course, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn <laughs> Asner, dude. <laughs> Why is it that in this movie, uh, I guess like, because it's like it was a serious role or something. He's Edward Asner. Uh-huh, in the yeah, beginning. Yeah. I guess it's like oh, I'm trying to be re- revamped for movies now. That's cool. It's very professional. <laughs> well, because I think, isn't he just back to being Ed Asner and Elf? I think so. Right? I'm, he's in that movie? He is. He's Santa Claus. Yeah. I, yes. I, think, I think he might just be Ed. I don't know. Maybe I could be totally wrong, but I just remember thinking like, Edward. He should just go by Ward, baby. Oh, yeah. You know, for the serious one. I think Ward. it was just Ed in JFK. When he beats the he shit, shit out of Jack Lemmon. Oh, that is so I just love that scene. He beats him with a gun. It's, yeah, it's just like, oh, yes. Yeah. You're stupid. Because <laughs> you're stupid. That's why. <laughs> It's that is yeah. one of the fucking rules. <laughs> um, That's the kind of fucking gun kata I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, dude, Ed Asner gun kata. Oh, I'm getting gun kata. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like they they come over. Uh, Morgan uh, Christian Slater's gone. Morgan Freeman's upset with Kenny, and I I remember it. And I kind of wish he just shoots Kenny in the head right here. Because that wouldn't that be the move? Yes. Like you fucked around. Now you're gonna find out. Let, well, that a, a a show- Let that be a lesson to you, Dan Florek. What did I do? <laughs> I'm a show of power. You have to drown him. I yes. Think. You, just, yeah, you totally. hold him under there. Yes. Yeah, Isn't it kind of weird that not a single person, like with all these villains and heroes yeah. floating around, no one forcefully drowns a person yeah. in this movie? It I was waiting for it. Like, what a total missed opportunity. I mean, you almost, you, I mean, like, your fucking Christian Slayer comes this close. 
to Poseidoning like Kurt Russell. Oh, dude, that disturbed me in the theaters, man. <laughs> Kurt Russell's death in that movie disturbed the fuck out of me. It is pretty real. It's pretty gnarly. Oh, I gotta say, it was because the rest of that movie's terrible. Yeah. But that one part also all of a sudden becomes like incredibly realistic. Well, yeah, it, it's, like, it, what the fuck? It's, just, it's the silly the boat sinking movie where everybody's <laughs> just dying all these silly deaths and then all of a sudden you're watching Kurt Russell believably drown. Yep. Is, he, is he like uh, Mario if he doesn't get the air bubble? Right. He <laughs> he the same music it. comes up. He yeah. didn't have the frog costume. Yeah, <laughs> so he got fucked. I had to go quicker. <laughs> uh, Fucking <but> squids. <laughs> <laughs> they, Christian Slater stashes the money in uh, a mausoleum somewhere and then yes. swims under the name Portman. Yes, yeah. in the cemetery. Oh. Yeah. Swims to Mini Driver, who is a church enthusiast. Now, this I think is a she's big a, question. a stained <laughs> glass artist. She, but she's also too good for this small town. Had to go get a college education. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, well, I'll, I'll prove it to them that I'm good, and I'll, I'll, I'll refurbish the church of the town. People will like me then." No, <laughs> bah, bah. that's for that humanities degree. <laughs> I, I just don't understand what her job is. I, I don't understand her function with the church. No. And I also don't understand it. this accent, dude. Oof, it's tough for oh, her. Oh, it's dude. Indiana. Yeah. Chris That's Cabin, just how they sound. Chris Cabin mentioned Twister earlier in the conversation. The fucking tornado is coming out of her mouth, man. She's <laughs> yeah. trying to hold on to this accent, and it is getting sucked out of the basement like Helen Hunt's dad. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. Yeah. It is just, I mean. Go. She was better off. I said this on the chat yesterday. If she kept her fucking terrible Russian accent from Goldeneye, yes. oh, yeah. I'd be like, that's way more believable than whatever is going on. Your here. normal fucking voice is fine. Nobody cares. You, you, you fucking you didn't you you aren't a uh, spurred lady like yeah. you, you just came from there. Oh, yeah. Well, just oh, 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 well, you know, I was uh, these are just uh, these are special stained glass things. I'm an art historian. Old Mr. Whatever the fuck told me to come over here and take care of them. He's on vacation and I'm British. You could. I know. No, this is I'm thinking a little outside the box here. Guys, okay. stop mm-hmm. me if I go too far. Sure. Could cast an American woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also true. Uh, Mini Driver hits him in the head with a crucifix. And there oh, because she thinks he's sneaking into the church or stealing yeah. something from the church. Christian Slater. Odd thing about this. I don't know what was going on with the. The layout of this church. Because oh, I can answer this for you. Uh, it's the Church of England. <laughs> it's the Church of England. <laughs> no, it's a weird thing where he goes. He's like, I'm going to go through this fucking door. All right, baby. Mm-hmm. And he goes in and then he walks up a huge staircase yeah. and he's on the first floor of the church. And I was like, well, did he go in? Yeah, it's, through a basement door. It just looks like a door that he goes. This church in. belongs in Castlevania, not in <laughs> Hard Rain. There is so much going on with it. Come on <laughs> in. This is your master bedroom. <laughs> this is after he like hides through the school for a little bit. Right? Oh, that's right. The school thing happens first. I yes, apologize. And yeah. Oh, they chase a, him through the school with the yeah with the jet skis and stuff. And that's another thing. I think we do get a brief scene of them going to the jet ski store. Yes. Whatever, yeah. They, nice. yeah, because it's a, like Morgan Freeman's like, uh, you know, we gotta just we gotta get in here and steal a boat or whatever. And he's uh he just picks like a like a fishing motorboat, yeah. no frills or whatever. And um Kenny. Uh, Kenny. Ken, no, but the other the other Ray. guy, the uh the Bible quoting Ray, dude. Yeah, it's Ray. Ray. Oh Ray. Yeah. He's like, oh, but Morgan Freeman, you know, Jim, why don't we take this sexy boat? And he's like, you know, we're doing a heist. You know, we just got to get in and get out. And he's like, but you're steal. It's kind of a funny line because he's like, but we're stealing something. Why yeah. wouldn't we steal the best of the things that we're stealing? Look, let us have some toys. Come yeah. on. We're yeah. trying to have fun here. And they have, I mean, they get jet skis. That's what Kenny's like. Ooh, jet skis. It's kind of funny. Like, Morgan's like, well, I'll let the kids have jet skis. Dan Florek, <laughs> Dan Florek says it's okay if <laughs> you guys have jet skis. Here, do you want some Hawaiian shirts too? <laughs> How would that make you feel? It is cool. The, it's a cool sequence going through the school, yeah. going all down these corridors. Just thinking how like someone was going to class here the other day, and now some guys are riding a jet ski, shooting a gun through it. <laughs> Pretty cool. This is the I, first appearance of Dan Florek's plastic bag bombs. Yes. <laughs> Which is so pretty good. great. Yeah, they they try to like off Christian Slater right here, but it blows up uh, in their face. There is a thing that's cool in the school scene where he, Christian Slater, uh, fakes out Kenny because yeah. he's like, I got to say, I want to know like what kind of leg workouts these dudes were getting because everyone in this movie is huffing it through water and it had mm-hmm. to be so hard on them thighs. This oh, shit yeah. must hard have been thighs. a fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, thank God. I mean, Christian Slater was in 
phenomenal shape. Sure. Oh, but yeah. Morgan Freeman, I would think even at that age, he has to take a couple rests in the <laughs> Yes. I think that's why we wrote way more boats into the script. <laughs> uh, what if I just floated down? What if spot? I was a boat guy? <laughs> How about after this, I just play old guys? None of this cowboy shoot 'em up stuff. I'm just the old guy who knows stuff. But Christian Slater does a cool like, come on, motherfucker, come get me. And Kenny speeds towards him and he goes underwater and Kenny hits like a little staircase yes. that's in the school. He goes flying. This into the dude trophy should have been dead, ship. right? I actually yes. wrote in my notes, dude dies flying into trophy case. I, I thought that we, I was so sure he was dead, but he also does. He does a fucking a, a D Day in Animal House before uh, Ram and Speed, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, what for? Who me? It's my favorite movie. I'm Kenny. Just for the guy you're trying to kill. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, because he wants he wants Tom's last thought to be like, this dude killed me while throwing out an Animal House <laughs> quote. <laughs> Got to do it. But Baller the, move. Kenny. The quips here, oh, not, yes. not as sharp. You know, no, not great. Uh, <laughs> low tie sailor. Yeah. Oh, not I great. Don't know. Yeah. Not it's, just, it's not good. I mean, like, it don't need to be die hard. It just needs listen, to be a fun action movie. Even just watch the first step is better than that. Yeah, oh, no. that's a good one. First step's a doozy. There it is. Yeah, like, first step's a doozy. I mean, like, I, I would like it if this guy just did die right here. And, like, you go up to it and he looks like he just drank the juice from street trash. <laughs> and he's just barely holding on yeah. for dear life. And he says, <laughs> Looks good on you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more. One more quip in there, yep. Kenny. Maybe, uh, uh, what do you call it there? A home at the end of the world. He goes to the glass <laughs> pane. He thinks he's okay. He's like, oh, blah, blah. Oh, nice. like, dude, I had to think about what you were talking about for a second. And then once you started going, blah, blah, yeah. I remembered the yeah. movie. And yeah. that is by no stretch of the imagination a good movie whatsoever. Yes, sure. uh, but fuck that. I remember I saw the movie in the theaters. Yeah. And that part. Fucked me up. I think about that scene when I see anyone just gently bump into a glass door. I'm like, no, no, don't. No. You're gonna go. <laughs> Could go so, but so much worse. You don't understand. You see that be- movie Home with the End of the World? I mean, it's fucked up. What it's, could happen to you? It's funny. Kenny does that. He's just like, toga, 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 toga. Um, Falls to the pitch. At some point around here, we're past it because the flooding is is way higher than when this actually happens in the movie. But we should say, yes. uh, at one point earlier, Randy Quaid's like going around and he sees someone peeking out of their window and he stops the car and knocks on the door and it's Betty White and the dude who played Doc Copper in The Thing. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. And they're like this, you know, the classic. And that's this is they are the two that come the closest to like the disaster movie cliches. Yeah, sure. It's the fucking the stubborn old people that aren't going to leave. Yeah. And she's yes, like, we're totally. setting booby traps in the house because I guess she has some memory of like back in the 70s. They got looted. She said, yeah, in 73 that they looted everything and everything else that they didn't take. They broke just to break it shall, or whatever. <laughs> shall we watch Straw Dogs the other night? We got a couple of ideas Ooh. about. Hot what? little picture. What if we stayed here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some English workers might yeah. come. Uh, <laughs> well, you're in a Hollywood movie. It's guaranteed. <laughs> oh, I fell, I fell asleep after the first 10 minutes. What else happens in that movie? <laughs> this has come up a lot in the past few years because the world is fucking crumbling on itself. That's right. Evacuating is expensive. Yeah. And like not always possible, sure. which is why we need services by like some kind of government Ooh. agency. To or help maybe people. repair that fucking dam. <laughs> well, when, what's when, happening? Dude, when we meet this guy who's like a dam yeah. operator taking a shit at one point, the dude it's phenomenal awesome. running out of the can with your pants around your ankles. So many people tur- do heel turns in this movie, I didn't see it coming from Hank, the damn operator. Yeah. Dude, there's so many fucking heel turns. It's like I'm watching SummerSlam. Uh, he is the guy from uh, Oh Brother. The uh, Is you is or is you not my constituency. Oh, really? Oh, really? Homer Stokes. Yeah, Homer Stokes, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. The killer building episode of the X-Files. Uh, with like the supercomputer? The one who get, the guy who gets killed in the elevator. Yeah. It's oh, like, that, that's yeah, him yeah, too? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Wayne Duvall also was uh, pretty good on last season of... Uh, the Righteous Gemstones is Eric, Sto- Eric yes. uh, Robert's oh. dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I got to get back on that Righteous Gemstones, man. Good little show there. Good little career for this gentleman. Uh, but so he, yeah, he he's like the damn guy. The damn is just like in pieces, pretty <laughs> much. It's a real like, what are you even doing there for this damn dude? Like, I know it's your job, but 
whatever you were supposed to do at the beginning of this movie, you already fucked it up. It's so. like he's systematically opening certain like gates to let water out of it so right. it doesn't explode. Right. And uh, but then the heel turn. Yeah. Then he has to go fetch the money with the sheriff so he lets the explode and destroy the town. I guess. Yes. But it, would it? be destroyed anyway because it seems like this rain is was still pretty hard <laughs> i mean it seems like any amount of rain would have caused it like the dam seems to be held together by bubble gum and hope and right. this this guy just doesn't like the, the, he has to do a heel turn because he doesn't have anything to do in the movie yeah, sure. and it's a rec- recognizable actor other than i guess do the fucking uh the waddle the shit waddle honestly he, i mean dude i'm not a hard man to please sure that guy waddling out of the toilet to hit the valve is one of the funniest things I've seen in months. <laughs> <laughs> and if that was all he did, I'd yeah. be like, dude, remember fucking toilet guy? <laughs> Excellent part of hard race. He could be just the he could be the guy in uh, what do you call it? The Batman Begins who keeps reminding you that the thing if they oh my god, if that train hits Wayne Tower, oh, yeah. it's gonna get really bad. <laughs> oh by yeah. the way, if that train hits Wayne Tower, it's gonna be really bad. The most useless guy to ever work at a water station uh, is that guy in yeah. Batman Begins. No that I, I, I wrote myself a placard so I don't have to do it anymore. Here you go. Here you go. Actually, the, side. the funny thing is with, with Toilet Guy here, Hank, I think if this movie, again, were to lean more into disaster movie tropes, he would be the dude who's he's working on the dam and then it's like, mother, yes. and the fucking water comes yes. through the office and kills him. Something. Like yeah, yeah. He would have his spectacular death that way, too. No, but he's like some weird sadist that nobody knows about until he gets activated. <laughs> yeah, that I don't want to see Hank's basement. Let's there just put it that way. that line of like, well, you haven't seen Hank go hunting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. So... What fucking most dangerous game is old Hank? Yeah, yeah, we go hunting teenage people. girls on the weekend <laughs> he's just one of the best shots out there <laughs> always ask them what their sign is first <laughs> loves wearing a black bag over his head you know last That's time he, tr- he tried to get in with them he played some sebado while they were running around <laughs> thought to be part of the the gang there so slater wakes up in the he gets knocked out by a mini driver he wakes up in the movie wakes up in in the jail and you know there this is when you know he meets randy quaid and randy quaid's like Ah, smart kid. You didn't didn't let them get the money because if you got the money, they'd kill you. You know what I mean? We're kind of doing that thing. It's like, where is the money? Yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing that I noted. I was like, oh, interesting. Because again, it's fucking Randy Quaid. Sure. I haven't seen him in a ton of stuff. Uh, not but, lately. Well, especially. <laughs> but I mean, well, like, that's on account of the Hollywood star whack. Uh, the star yeah, whack. There's nothing about him. I think I, anyone would be eager to hire him if there it wasn't for the conspiracy. Are some him. dashboard cam videos with him that are pretty uh, compelling? <laughs> yeah, speaking of, tell yeah, if you want to talk recent performances. <laughs> yes. what, I mean, is there a sex tape? He's got a sex tape. Yeah, oh, I, I was. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, I, I, no, I, he does. Wait, oh, what, he does. oh, what? You're talking about actual dash dashboard cam footage pulled video. over? No, like the fucking the phone. The, the yes. The, oh, he's, he's doing like oh, the Robert Davi. They, they oh, all do it. They does all the phone do this thing. Yeah, he does the phone thing. He talks into there about like Trump and stuff, and it's a whole menacing thing. But apparently, he's also. Fucking. Oh yeah, no. Him and oh, his he's... wife have a sex tape. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, oh. just two disgusting weirdos. One night in Randy. What's the running time on this? Uh, not as long as you would have liked. Do you think? Do you think Uncle it's... Eddie's fuck vacation is that what it's called? <laughs> Randy nights. I mean, I think Randy no, nights. Oh, Randy nights. Yeah, you're mean? calling it Randy nights. You're fucking like three or four times editing it better than the best. Editing it together like the best clips. Oh right? sure, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you get your wife and then your wife's sister. I mean, you can <laughs> is that start... right? <laughs> He seems like the type. That's all I'll say. Quaid. Condom was full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's Blade. pumping the condom into the sewer. <laughs> no, you just use it until it fills up. You don't, you know. That's true. You got to save money. Oh, uh, <laughs> that, yeah. Well, you're not getting your big Hollywood jobs anymore. You got to be fucking yelling into your cell phone in your car in the uh, Starbucks parking lot. Yet, yet Hugh Grant can walk all over this great nation. <laughs> Yes, the star uh, whackers aren't after him. But so this is what Randy Quaid is like. All right, well, we're going to go get the money and make sure. And like, it's kind of interesting because I remember this movie as Randy Quaid being crooked, but I always thought he was in on it with Morgan Freeman. I'm like, oh, he doesn't know that he's like twisting it around. It's a fascinating turn that yeah. the screenplay takes where it's two groups of equally crooked people yes. that have nothing to do with each other that want this money. And it makes total sense. You yeah. got 3 million to 5 million. Well, you know, today's standards 5.5 yeah. 5 million. 
of course you're killing each other. Of course the police are going to try yes. to get it for themselves. Yeah. Uh, and of course he'll do, you know, Morgan Freeman would do anything as well. I would do anything as well. I'm, we should go into robbery. We should get into robbery. Uh, who's going to get, get a cowboy hat? Ooh. Ooh. This got to be the one of us with the smallest head. Because let me tell you, uh -huh. a fat guy with a huge head wearing a cowboy hat, yeah. that's Alex Jones cosplay. Well, I got to hide this hair. It's too identifiable. Eric, <laughs> don't try to get me into one of your suicide by cop schemes. <laughs> Again. I'm not trying to do this. Absolutely yes. not. No, but no. Like, I, <laughs> no, I said. It's the like exact opposite of a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> but we are, you know, we are a couple of smart guys here. You I, know, we, uh -huh. it's, it's gotten us this far. Uh -huh, I'm sure. And I think we can figure something out. We got to, I don't know. We got to find out maybe, maybe a major weather event. I guess That's that is point. the best yeah, time, yeah. right? And we can use some of this Patreon money to get like blueprints of bank vaults. Ooh, possible. Oh, yes, sure. You just got to grab it. Just got to grab it. <laughs> we'll catch you. We'll start the robbers tier. No paper next. trail though. And of course we're going to edit this out of this podcast. Sure. And <laughs> mm. just cause you don't want to, you know, you don't want like evidence like, Oh, I've Venmo would you for blueprints. Sure. You, know what I mean? you got to right. do it under the table. There's mm -hmm. a little cash. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, first we got to figure out how to use the dark web. I feel like yeah, that's got to play a role. That's right. And of course we've, been training in guns for the past seven or eight months oh, so people don't know that thank god we're cutting that part out yeah so the, what were the gun kata classes i've been teaching you in our backyard <laughs> yeah there's uh, some uh, ex massad guys who have really been giving us some pointers there's uh, uh there's a great line uh when they're like you know what were you doing they're asking christian slater like what he was doing and uh <laughs> What were you doing out there? And he goes, uh, I was looking for a place to hide. And fucking rapey McSheriff's assistant goes, uh, from what? Swamp thing? Yeah. Oh, nice yeah. ref. Kind of great. Sick stuff. <laughs> this, I mean, honestly, you want to take this to the next level? Bring Swamp Thing into this. Oh, Fuck yeah. <laughs> this yep. is a, a good, uh, if you want to introduce Swamp Thing into the universe, this is about where you would do it. <laughs> and I he think. also <laughs> wants the money. Like, he's yeah. just another entity that wants this $3 million. Dude, it would be awesome if he's like, uh, I think I'm going to take it from here, Sheriff Randy <laughs> Quaid. And then, like, he punches a tree through Randy Quaid's yep. chest yeah. or something. Yeah. And maybe he just thinks at the at the end when he gets the money, because he's obviously getting the money, yeah. he thought it was just leaves. Oh, yeah. Trying yes. to help his green friends. <laughs> I need to save my bog. I need this money for my bog. I was gonna hire I was gonna hire Mini Driver to restore the the the, 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 the stained, stained glass windows in my bog. <laughs> I like this idea. I like it a lot. Secret Swamp Thing movie. And Not against it. She's, she's going to work on the portrait of my father, Swamp Dad. <laughs> Do you think Swamp Thing would get along with Shrek? That's a great question. Probably not. Oh, he's not. killing no. his ass. Yep. No, he's, he's oh, yeah. Him. I think Swamp Thing would kill Shrek. In it. Really? I just we don't think wow. Swamp Thing is a big fan of farting. You know what I mean? No. Like, just I'm going to make he is fart. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. I think he's like stolen valor, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he likes the natural gases of like the earth, not yeah. of an ogre. Well, I mean, that's that they're news. different. Well, because he's like, news. you know, he's like, look, I'm fucking Swamp Thing, man. And if you read them Alan Moore stories, <laughs> you can pick fruit off my body and eat it. You get fucking trippy and horny and whatnot. You're just a fucking ogre that eats his own shit in a mud <laughs> swimming pool. Yep. We are not the same, Shrek. That's true. I am Swamp Thing and you are disgusting. I romance ladies. <laughs> you understand that? I'm not talking to a fucking donkey. I had Heather Locklear. Oh. Shrek, do you understand me? We got to do that, uh, what do you call it, that Swamp Thing movie the, with, 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 with uh, Craven did it. Yeah, yeah. First, yes, the OG. definitely. The, the OG. Well, I think I think Heather Lockley is in Return part two, of Swamp yes, Thing, yeah. unfortunately, That's, which is I, a Cohen joint. I think. Yes. Larry, and, I think it's a Larry Cohen. Yeah, <laughs> not brothers. That's <laughs> no, <for sure>. no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that one. <laughs> my one question: Shrek, the Swamp, Swamp Thing. thing. All right, yeah, let's yeah, move that's, along. That's now, good. Are we on the film? They leave. They leave Christian Slater alone. Uh, but um, Wayne, the rapey sheriff, locks him in. He's like. He could be lying, and because like, which is it's just such shitty, right? Like it's just like he's in a uniform of the armored car guys. Yeah, you know, let's just put him in a jail cell and lock it. Man, whatever happened to the wholesome chair with a handcuff? <laughs> That's you know what you're right. right. You're absolutely right about that. Uh, I mean, chair, you know. I mean, the fucking town is flooding. They don't know how long they're going to be out. Well, also, yeah. I mean, in this case. Wayne is stroking himself as he usually is. Sure. He, he's like, 
He's a security guard. I'm a cop. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I, he isn't well, up a, to my standards. It's a thin line, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Wayne. You're both assholes. Yes. Uh, when he, he shoots some innocent person, he probably is going to jail. <laughs> I am not. Look, Randy Quaid, this guy's going to come in here and tell us what to do. He doesn't even have qualified immunity, okay? <laughs> he, uh, Randy and Wayne go off to get to find the money and they put the third guy with mini driver to to, to drive her out quote unquote out of town and i don't know where that the is mini driver driver <laughs> <laughs> and she's like but i've got to have to got to have to got to have to get these stained glass windows fixed still I and i'm mean, like what uh-huh. the most bizarre motivation for any character mm. i've ever seen it's really, really something, and and again, it can, yeah. it, the rain is it's 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 over. Like whatever is yeah. going to happen is going to happen. But I need her to be like, I have poured my entire graduate degree yeah. into these fucking windows, right? And yeah. That is why I'm willing to stay here and drown yeah. for these windows, for these windows that like for <laughs> that nobody cares. Like, <laughs> the, it, 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 oh, who the mayor doesn't care? No. The fucking pastors getting out of town on a boat. Like, what are you doing? Fuck. Yeah, well, yeah the, the pastor and the nuns are like, that's a bad idea, oh, sweetheart. Aren't they the ones supposed to go down with the ship? Oh, <laughs> no, you're right? thinking of boat cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, was it, that's what happened with Noah's Ark, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I think that the floods just kind of like dispersed, and then it was just like a hotel that he ran after that Fucking for a number of years. Geez. Wasn't some, that the sequel of this story? Some guy's Pardon? got all the luck. <laughs> I'm trying to... Noah what, too. What, Noah's Hotel? What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm, I was... I was Is that a making, Doors record? I hope not. I certainly <laughs> hope I didn't make a fucking Doors reference. No. I, when the flood, you know. Disperses. Disperses. Uh-huh. What was the boat destroyed? I don't no, know. Well, that's what they, I'm saying. He could open up an inn <laughs> it or maybe like the, it's an animal hospital. <laughs> it's like the USS Intrepid, you know. Yeah. You just <laughs> had take people a come tour. Turn it into a museum. Actually, yeah, yeah it's fucking sitting somewhere in yeah. the mountains of Tennessee here's, right now. Here's where they're anteaters shit. Um, here's where the zebras shit. <laughs> Noah, um, I need you to build an ark and save two of every animal, and then when the waters recede. You've got a nice little retirement plan. It's a, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I Noah, mean, look, it's a boat that could fit two of every animal. Yeah. Man, that is some real estate. Uh, yep. you- and the elks pissed over there. <laughs> Uh, I think the pigs eat somewhere. That's the thing. The that first tourist trap, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God is great. Do uh, we have uh, T-shirts? No, no, we, we we don't. But we could take your T-shirt from you and sell it back to but you. But all the piss and shit, you might just have to torch it. Oh, that's actually point. true. We're yeah. never getting the smell out. Nobody's gonna stay here. No. Then you build a fake ark. <laughs> yeah. To be that's like, right. Pass it off as the real ark, and yeah. that's the one you're selling. You know, little visits to there is that the bread and breakfast. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you can is have it in two Tennessee? of two of every animal for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> two sausage links, <laughs> two bacon slices, yeah. two squares uh, of Canadian bacon, two chickens, two alligators, and a uh, yeah, a hippo's head, if you will. Two mosquitoes. You got mosquitoes on the menu. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll have the Noah's Lark. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly. Sir, you disgust me. <laughs> That's veal. <laughs> Uh, whatever, man. So like they they're all going away. Mini driver basically kills the good sheriff. This is the good sheriff who's got a crush on. Him. He's got big ears. Yep. And he's like, I oh, just take care about you so much, Karen. I want to make sure you're safe. And she's like, Well, take eat shit. And like he's not even he's not he's not the creepy guy who winds up raping. No, he's like, no. no. But she like leaves him. She's like. Go swim somewhere. It's like, I don't know, dude. You just sit this dude ah. to death. You knock ki- King someone out, out of a boat in this flood is yeah. a death sentence. I, I'm yeah. sorry, Phil. I have to save the windows. <laughs> I have to save them. But I said I'd help you. <laughs> uh, so she goes back to the fucking thing to pump more water or whatever. Which is her just looking at these things. Yes. I mean, because I think when she gets back there at this scene, she's like, oh, I'm fucked. Like, I right. think she sees like, it's yes. way worse than her little, you know, gas because powered he, yeah, sump pump. At this point, uh, the 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 flood is coming, and this is when Hank goes, "Sheriff, the a lot of water's coming your way." Yes, yep. Because this is around the toilet part. I yes, think. Yeah. yeah. And then like, um, 
all this water comes and this is when Christian Slater is going to drown in this fucking uh, jail cell. This is a good sequence. Yeah, there's like there's keys on a desk and we're doing a bunch of stuff with it. This is a this is a good sequence because he tries to get the uh, he floats the desk over by roping his like belt into the drawer. It's yeah. what's kind of cool is like he needs it to get worse before he can try to right. save himself because like he's trying to get his like utility belt. It's not Batman. It's whatever. It's fucking. I think it is still. Yeah. Still okay. Evil. All right. You know, and he's trying to yeah get it in the drawer or whatever. Yeah. Or I think he's trying to hit the keys at first. Yeah, yeah. And then like the desk just starts floating. And I was like, this is kind of cool, uh, man. I like bring, this. Well, I can float it over. Yeah. And then, you know, the keys turn out to be for a car. Good a gag. Ford car. Know, maybe I'll drive my way out of this cell. You yeah. know, the funny thing is, though, Chris. Who uh, the hell am I talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking? Um. Why am I talking? <laughs> <laughs> That's his last word. <laughs> I think, yeah, but there's no other way to tell the audience yeah. that those are car keys and yeah. not jail cell keys. Sure. sure. So it's it's the one instance where the product Look, plays. It was hey, I'm, I'm all for back in the day when it was creative. It was a little more mm-hmm. subtle. Sure. We're going to talk about World War Z later this year. Oh, and yeah. Sweet baby <laughs> Jesus. You haven't seen product placement like that. But Chris, this finding the Ford keys is like, oh, fuck, now I'm really ruined. <laughs> Even if it wasn't raining, I couldn't drive this piece <laughs> of shit. Yeah, this thing isn't going to start. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> wish I wish I found keys to a Mitsubishi or some Fix shit. Fix off and repair daily. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Dodge man. Maybe one of these cops got a Honda. Um, <laughs> so he's getting drowned, and yeah. then Mini Driver's like, "Oh no, I forgot that hot guy there." So she comes <laughs> back and say, "He's doing like." Breathing through a flash, a flashlight, 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 or a flashlight. I think he's breathing Pardon through me? a flashlight, flashlight, wishing it was a flashlight. Got it. Yeah, okay. That's right. But don't think they were invented yet. No, no. Unfortunately, someone had yet to <laughs> stick their penis inside a flashlight and go, "Wait a second. <laughs> oh man, no, do both. Like just one more deposit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Into I mean, my that could, be a, that could be a great cover heist. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hey, there so you go. Town is flooding, and we got to get this guy's semen. What is it? <laughs> I think we've actually done. We this. literally, I, I, yes. we literally had a whole bit about cum heist. Uh, I think all, like two years ago. Ultraviolet episode. Yeah. I think. Oh, oh is that there's nothing is? wrong with world building upon the, <laughs> the bricks we once laid. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. It's true. We could revisit places. Uh-huh. That's it's right. not cum heist. All right, yeah, yeah. go back to the. <laughs> you water, get Dennis Haysbert for the sequel. I know. <laughs> how uh, how does she know the exact part of the roof yeah, to fucking a pull question. off? She's just you know. It's a she really got blueprints because the fucking weather event just to be safe blueprints of every building. Yes. <laughs> she also has a superpower to tell you where, like, where all the screws are. Like, she's just immediately like, "Whoop, there we go." Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> the amount of play this Swiss Army knife gets yeah. is oh, yeah. really something. They should just, I don't know, show a shot of her working on the stained glass with it or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she's like using it to like chip away some dirt or something that's on <laughs> I guess there. So, I mean, those things, those are, are those screw jobs they gotta mean? hang them somehow yeah you probably there. screw them in they're probably screwed in there you go or maybe welded in uh, what maybe. Stay, a stained glass window to a wall yeah. Yeah. yeah nah you're probably hanging that shit yeah. With Elmer's like wire. Yeah. Elmer's. I oh, yeah, those uh, the little like sticky tabs you just put up now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> come easy to take strips. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hanging these stained glass windows with command strips. Exactly. Maybe at Mike Lindell's church. <laughs> Did <laughs> he start a church now? Oh, he, he should. He should call it as seen on TV. <laughs> Oh, the church yeah. of pillow yeah oh yeah pillow church dude that's maybe something i don't know uh um, but room. so like he's she saves him and this is when kenny comes after them right like it's like yes. oh man here comes this big the kenny showdown but like they're they're afraid of this transformer that's about to explode. Vivian, get out of the way. <laughs> Everyone's about to get fucking electrocuted. I'm stuck in the water. I'm wearing a suicide vest, Vivian. <laughs> it's for political reasons. Uh, this, it, it is actually very hard to walk through this. Vivian, they shouldn't have voted Sheriff Randy Quaid out of office. Now they'll pay. <laughs> With my uh, fucking robot suicide vest on. <laughs> but it's a, it's a power transformer. Yeah. Yes. Which, um, for listeners abroad or wherever, it's uh, like a bot. It's like a big a, electrical box. Like a think cylinder. We- do they have electricity in England? I want yeah. to make sure they're getting this right. <laughs> I do really believe know. so. It's not all by candlelight. <laughs> really? They don't live thought- all live in hobbit, <laughs> hobbit holes. Are you, know you know sure? I, that, 
Last I checked. It's Dude, not Italian. Jack the Ripper time still. <laughs> Speaking of uh, gas, I thought it was cold. <laughs> oh, like that Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Yeah, man. Um, what do you say about Hobbit holes? Oh, uh, I was like, uh, you know, perusing uh, YouTube there the other day. Yeah, you were. On my TV. Mm. And, uh, you know, it was like those suggested viewings in one line. We listen to a lot of like lo fi, you know, beat stations sure. and stuff that just air. There was one that was like, oh, Listen to this for like five minutes and you'll fall asleep. And I was like, all right, let's oh, see shit, if it makes dude. me a little sleep. Hip- hypnosis. Yeah, right. So I turned it on and I mean, <laughs> just in case anyone out there has a body. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. But in case someone has not like made the uh, the connection here, if you're new to the show, I, I was high out of my mind. Sure. sure. Uh, and so the the graphic that they had on screen was just a couple of Hobbit hole houses. Oh, okay. nice. And they made them like kind of animated a little as if like, you know, Bilbo was in there like doing something. Uh-huh. Shadows. Up to no good. And I was just like, man, I'd love to live in a Hobbit hole. Man. <laughs> Look at that fucking cool house. I think it would be pretty awesome. When oh, you're sure. mowing the yeah. lawn, you got to mow the roof. <laughs> See, I make, I make fun of the British because I want to be one of them. That's For all. sure. <laughs> you know. Um, uh, but so they're like, he, in one, he's fighting Kenny at first. Kisha Slater is, yeah. he does a Dalsim tiger uppercut in the water. Yes. 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 It's pretty cool. I'm sorry. A, a Sagat tiger. Sagat, uppercut. Yes. Apologies. He, I think he does like a, I'm just going to jump up from the ground here and see what I can punch. Yes. Cause it is like a, it's almost like an Aquaman move. Yes. Honestly, like coming out of the water, not too shabby. And he knocks Kenny down and he, him and uh, mini driver get inside of a window and like, they realize that they don't want Kenny to die, which uh, that couldn't be me. Uh, yeah, this why is the not? movie trying to you tell your you. uncle. Right, yeah. he's trying to tell. Like, they're trying to tell you how good of a guy Tom is. Like he's a real uh, hero. Tom, you're great. It is fucking <laughs> hilarious though, because when the two of them climb out of the water, they're on like some sort of ladder yes. or something, and it's kind of it's a really bad Christian Slater delivery where he just goes. Oh, no, it's metal. Like, and I was yeah. like, well, no shit. What the fuck do you think you've been climbing on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So oh, that is what I Kenny, thought this was wood. Yeah, that is what Kenny is on when they have shimmied yeah. over to this like window ceiling. Come on, you're going to get electrocuted. And, and, and like I, you, you're you kind of fit. like there's no room on this window. Ceiling. No, no. You, this guy's not. Yeah. going. It's an invitation. Really? Like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh. grab my. Grab my hand. Well, you got to stick your arm out first. <laughs> yeah, no, grab it. Oh, it's no, going to be a shame make- when you die. It's yeah. going to be such a shame. Oh, no, he didn't make it. He's on fire. <laughs> I love the fact that that guy lights up. He does. lights up, but it's fucked up that he lives long enough for Morgan Freeman to pull him out the water. And, you know, him. Like, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uncle Jimmy. <coughs> I, I hope I did good by you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then like Morgan Freeman, it's a, I've never seen, and I think only someone with the dulcet tones of Morgan Freeman's mm, voice yes. could talk someone down from being scared to die. Cause he's yeah. just like, you're going to be all right. The pain's going to subside soon. And he's like, Oh, you're totally right. Uncle Jimmy. The pain is not bad. Right. <laughs> you were so. <sighs> and it's all right. I can stop pretending. I give a shit about this guy. <laughs> you want his eyeballs to burst, kind of. You oh, want that I do want of, his yep. eyeballs uh, to burst. Go, full evil dead. <laughs> Andrew, his eyeball totally. explosion. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for him to chuck this piece of meat into <sighs> the fuck, because the whole thing is that he can't. Yeah, he can't right. let it go. Yeah, he has to like. It's a, a fucking point of drama. And later in the thing, he's like, "We gotta dump the body." Finally, to get this thing working. It is a really funny, like, oh, we got too much weight on the boat. And then, like, you see Morgan Freeman look down and it's like, oh, <laughs> I know what I have oh, to do. My boy, Kenny. Oh, God. <laughs> well, OK, finally, you are just part of the flood now. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, so after that uh, insanity uh, with Jimmy getting electrocuted, <laughs> the two of them, uh, 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 Tom and what the hell's her name in this movie? Karen. Karen? Yeah. yeah. They yes. get in this. It's kind of a cool scene where it's like, how in a movie like this do we develop like any kind of semi believable downtime? Yeah. And I thought this was kind of neat. They just get in a floating car and they have some time to kind of talk. Uh, this is when she says my favorite thing. She's like, yeah, my uncle did me a favor and got me this job. And this is like, the scene where we've we finally realized yes. or are told that yes. uncle and nephew. And he's like, and she's like, nice favor. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst of her lines. Uh, there's a uh, there's another weird Christian Slater line right here because we learned that before he got this gig yeah. from Uncle Ed Asner, he was a dude who made a living selling construction equipment. Yeah. But he goes, but after a while, that didn't really feel right anymore. And yeah, I was like, were you crooked? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Did you take some illegal bid from the Japanese? Like, I, I, what is I, I, any of that? I couldn't quite nail it at the office. <laughs> They all thought I had a screw loose. You know, when you're, you're working for construction, you can't you can't shoot anybody. And, and, and Uncle Charlie, he just wanted to shoot somebody, really. Yeah, I'm selling a bulldozer, but I really wanted to sell someone a bulldozer while I'm packing heat, man. <laughs> it doesn't make it's a weird line. So they wind up um, at Betty White's house. Oh, like, sure. Like, oh, let's break in here and hide out. Speaking of saw, dude, she's got these fucking bear traps on the floor. Jesus yeah, Christ. Which you... <laughs> Deus Ex Bear Trap. Thank you. Someone oh, needs to put their foot in that thing. Yep. Maybe it's floor. Oh, shit. Olivia, I just fucking cut my whole foot off. <laughs> Absolutely. And as long as that did not prevent the hilarious <laughs> death that he gets at the end of the movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Stick Dan Florg's leg in that bear trap. Oh, my fucking leg. Elliot, still cool out. <laughs> cool out. I mean, just because I'm in pain doesn't mean you have to get all wild. As much as I like the electrocution, Kill I think Kenny it. should step in the bear yeah, trap. Yeah, see, that would be nice, too. Because like, he saw him kill a nice old man. <laughs> what if he steps in the bear trap and then somehow also got electrocuted on top of I that? love that. The, they're like made out of metal, out. dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Falls out the window onto power lines. <laughs> He yeah. dies six times before he, Morgan <laughs> Freeman finds him. And this is like, you know, Betty White. Be, this is the beginning of her, like, old lady cute phase kind of yeah. i mean she's always old old lady but you know what i mean like no yeah, but this is like old. but yeah. she's like she for a while and she gave it up yes but she had that like i'm kind of like i was at the rapping granny but she's like she kind of is it's like yes. the badass old lady because it's this and then the very next year if my math is right is lake placid yes where she's role. doing the same fucking thing oh. where she's like surly and saying nasty words yeah like oh, oh. she said shit is oh one of the golden girls said shit i'm like hey man did you ever fucking see b arthur not on that television show <laughs> has it isn't goodwill hunting right around now and they yeah. just let mini driver be mini driver in that right yeah they sure do she's that's, just that's nice that's oh, real nice yeah. Yeah. It's because it's a port city with the the greater empire <laughs> oh of course yeah, yeah. i mean but is she the titular point. miss misery in- <laughs> <laughs> i think she might be great song uh but to eric's point though like i think again just let the poor woman act. Yes. save it with a line right. of like i'm in from oxford studying these priceless which priceless stained glass windows is fine solution and would help it'll go a long way do you do your real voice yeah uh so like uh betty white's like oh blah 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 you know they can't stay here and this guy is like well why don't uh and chris is like well yeah the national guard's gonna be here so can i use your boat and they're like sure <laughs> And he gets to the thing. And then, like, immediately, Betty White, this old guy, have been kidnapped by Morgan Freeman, question This mark? is a weird thing. In the, so they leave yes. in Doc Copper's boat. Yeah. Which Christian Slater makes a similar joke to one that Randy Quaid makes at the beginning <laughs> of the movie. Both of them are basically like, hey, Doc Copper, don't you want to kill your annoying wife? Like yes. that's because Randy Quaid's like, yeah, yeah. I could, you sure you don't want to leave her to drown? Like that's <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah. then Christian's like, because she's fucking just bitching at yeah. Doc Copper. Close the window. Yeah. The water's getting in. You're not giving our boat. Like this whole thing. I mean, I do agree that that boat is the only way that it would survive. Like you can't give that shit away in a fucking flood like but this. But I thought we weren't leaving the house. Yeah, one of true. the other Betty Whites. One true. of the other. You're fucking going to die there. Or you're going to go out in your rowboat. But then Kristen Slater's like, like she's yelling and Doc Copper's like, here's my boat. Go save the money. It's, it's and a, it's also weird to set traps in your own house while you're still living there. And you got the guns anyway. I yeah. Because they're like hiding in the attic. Uh, Whatever. I don't know. Sorry. But he says to him like, uh, sure, you don't want to come with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't you hate your fucking wife, man? But by the time he gets there, Morgan Freeman has kidnapped them. And that's what, I, yeah, the weird thing here, because like they go by in the rowboat and Morgan Freeman and the the remaining gang are hiding like behind yeah. a bush oh, in their boat. And Morgan Freeman's like, uh, well, we know where he's going. I want to find out where he came from. Yeah. And then the next time you see Morgan Freeman, he has kidnapped them. Yes. Betty, Betty White and Doc Copper. Yeah. But what did he fucking follow the boat wake back to the house? No way well, he figures out where they were. It's this, continuity here. Nah, it would be a great moment also to reapprise the bear trap. Yeah. You know? Oh, exactly. That's Someone, where Dan Florek steps yeah. in. It. Yes, <laughs> You're totally <yes>. right. <laughs> um, and, you know, 
right here, it's like a standoff. It's like, all right, we're going to kill these old people unless you show us finally where no, the money is. No, no, no. I want to know where he came from. Where were you born? <laughs> Christian Slater, tell me. What what was your mother like? <laughs> you're just trying to make, you're trying to find out if this accent is fake, right? Yeah, you're just trying to do a Jack Nicholson. I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out what that, where the hell you got that Wait, way of talking. And Karen will ask you next. We've all seen <laughs> Connell knowledge, you little brat. Oh. <laughs> Does Morgan Freeman know that Tom and, and uh, Uncle Charlie are related or not? I think he does at some point. I, I mean, there's a reveal of it, I think, a little later yeah. in the film. When he but tells I don't know him. If it's spelled out or not. Right, but like, so, but like the movie doesn't start, like Morgan Freeman doesn't start oh, this no, yeah. heist with that knowledge. Yeah. Again, Ed Asner. It, <sighs> Look, yeah. all right, I'm going to help you out with your heist or whatnot, but just remember with your guns and everything, my little nephew is going to be in a car. I don't want no trouble. So could you please kill him? I mean, honestly, <laughs> he's driving me up the fucking wall. This kid thinks he's too good for my life. <laughs> I'm fucking driving around with five easy pieces <laughs> all day long. He's t- he Yeah, he does the chicken salad. Set. He does the thing with me. He does the yeah, chicken thing The only thing, thing he me. doesn't do is fucking get out of the diner and fucking leave forever. <laughs> Wish he'd leave me at a fucking truck stop. Yeah. Go on a fucking logging trip, truck kid. I'm not even kidding you, Morgan Freeman. Last week, we were stuck in traffic behind a moving truck with a flatbed that had a piano on it. And this <laughs> asshole got out and jumped on back and started playing the piano. If anyone hasn't seen Five Easy Pieces, check oh, it out. Oh, excellent. Movie. It's Bob great. Rafelson. Actually, Bob Rafelson, not no, uh, Farina at the Academy no, Awards. He, was, he, was, wow. he made the reel. I couldn't believe it. Because nice. Jack would have come for them, I think. <laughs> After that, Jack, would, that would be the final thing. He would have made it as his last, like, it's like, Mr. Nicholson, if you leave the house right now, you, you could perish. It's what I have to do. <laughs> I have to do a Michael Myers on the Academy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Fucking ignoring Bob Raffles. Beat them to death with a golf club. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Like, after this year with the surprise, you know, Chris pointed out on On Screen Live, like, his list of, like, well, of course they'll be farina and holy fuck, how did they farina them? And Chris, you were saying, the holy fuck, how did they miss these guys was a big list this year. If we get so bad to the point where, Jesus, when Nicholson shuffles oh, off, no. if he gets fucking farina oh, I say the Academy Awards are canceled forever. They can't, Bob. They I would go with can. that because it's never going to happen. Both are right. neither. Never no, gonna I know happen. it's a, well, I know it's such <laughs> yeah. a bold statement. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, bring it yes. into you know. Jack Nicholson will never die. He won't. At least that not would my also heart. Be nice. At least not my heart. Yeah, uh, I put my, <laughs> I put my entire brain and all my memories inside this <laughs> AI machine. <laughs> Are you yeah, just it's called it. Ultron, okay? <laughs> Please don't use it just for me to say poopies. <laughs> With the poopies on the strip. Um, oh, oh, it's really called love poopies. It. I uh, love it. Yeah, I wish poopies was still around, dude. We would go there oh, absolutely. when we're in L.A. this May. Oh, I would love to go to poopies on the strip. <laughs> anyway. So they go to the, the graveyard. Basically, Christian Slater finds out from Doc Copper that, you know, Millie Driver escaped. They didn't even know she was there. And this is when... Copper has this big moment. Like, do you want us to get the hell out of this situation, Marlene, or whatever her name is? It's like, well, yeah. yes, Dor- I do. He's like, shut the fuck up, then. It's like, right. then shut the fuck up. Oh man, it's a great fuck. Dude. Oh, yeah. dude, nice little pop on Doc the Copper fuck. nailed that line, man. Uh, Richard, uh, what is this guy? I can find it out. Uh, but or so- no, well now I'm thinking Richard Mazer, who's also in the thing, but that's not Doc Copper's now, name. Now anyway. back home to die of pneumonia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, in the graveyard is kind of when things really start going tits up here. Creepy. Uh, <laughs> there's a creepy effect here. Richard it, Dysart, by the way. Richard Dysart. Right. Yeah, okay. So he was a Richard. All right. Um, there's a really... A dick. <laughs> dick Dysart, dude. <laughs> dick Dysart. How you doing? <laughs> uh, there's a great thing here where um, all these uh, uh, coffins start floating up. Uh, yeah. And you're like, wow, that's fucked up. And then you get this hilarious Dan Florek science teacher explanation. Yeah. He's like, yeah, a lot of times I tell my students about this, you know, when the water gets so bad like this, if they haven't been down there that long, they just kind of pop up. Yeah. And Ray is just like, I understand now why you were fucking fired from that teaching job. Yeah, I, I tried to tell Lisa when I took her out for Chinese food, but you know, you can't talk to 15 year olds like that. They get so, they just they uh-huh. shut down before the egg rolls even came. She shut me down. You know, you really shouldn't send a girl who works at Burger King, who's 14, a big bouquet of flowers with your name on it, with your teacher name, Mr. Marble. That's how I met Olivia. Uh, 
but this is when like Randy Randy Quaid shows up and it's like, oh, yep, the day is saved. Uh uh-uh, uh, because Randy Quaid wants the money. Mm. Oh yeah, yep. dude. We just got a big old fucking shootout in the cemetery. Cool action scene in this. Ray, Ray good, bites it good. first. I think Ray, Ray just gets like fucking annihilated right. in the back. Yes. Um, I think because I think that's how Randy Quaid makes his presence known. Yes. Because I think he's about Ray is about to shoot Christian Slater, yes. and then you just hear a bunch of gunfire go off, and Ray's just getting torn up, dude. Um, no and, more Bible verses. Thank I mean, thank no. Jesus for that. Now, now well, he's is, in it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, now he's part of the book, right? Like after you, die, and then you, Ray showed up. <laughs> when you meet, when you die, you meet all the Bible characters, Chris. What was if the, you um, believe enough? You meet all of Noah's, Hebrews, and the anteaters, and everything. All available in the kingdom of heaven <laughs> yes. for food or just riding them for that's, fun. Yeah, that's Noah's gear, the monster. <laughs> There is some Ray line because what's the deal here? Oh, no, he said he, he's like, oh, he says some quotes, and they're like, oh, is that the Bible? Like, no, Bruce Springsteen. I'm all out of Bible quotes. That, oh, that's because it's the, he quotes the river. And that's yeah, yeah, what yeah. it is. I'm all out of Bible quotes. So, yep, a Bruce Springsteen <laughs> reference. Okay, so I'm going down, down, Fuck down. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be better, dude. <laughs> and now this is fucking Florek firing at when Randy Quaid wildly. And he gets shot in the eye like Mo Green in The Godfather. Dude, I, yeah, I thought exactly the same yeah. thing. He yeah. got Mo Green. It's great. It's it goes awesome. through the glasses. The blood splatters yeah, spurt, out. Yeah. You see oh. the glasses at one point like falling away, and it's just the bullet hole precisely through one yeah. lens. Fuck, that's cool. Um, and now like both of Randy Quaid's guys, like Wayne is in on it immediately. Is like we're we're taking the money, and then Phil is like. But we can't. It's not right. But what about the town? What, think about all those the banks. Don't we, don't we have to protect them? Oh, my God. Won't someone think of the FDIC? <laughs> There's a Sears in town that could use some help. <laughs> People aren't buying couches like they used to. <laughs> oh, man. If only we had couch money. <laughs> That's why we have to do this heist. That's true. Got to hope for the next big weather event. So it basically what happens here, it's kind of like the enemy of my enemy is my temporary partner. And Morgan Freeman sort of teams up with Christian Slater at this yes. point to fight Randy Quaid and the rest of these fucking cops. Yes. There are two left, I yes. think. Uh, and they wind up holding up. There's like a shootout. This is when there is like a, they, uh, what do you call it there? They throw the dead body, Kenny's dead body in the water. Yep. They wind up kind of holding up in the church. This is when we find out that Charlie was in on it. And this is when also Randy Quaid enlists Hank from the that's the right. dam. He's like, right. and like, why are we cutting him? And he's like, you never went hunting with Hank. Yeah, he's uh, gonna be here in exactly five minutes. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> he's time traveling from a different dimension, and then he just he can figure it out to collapse time to get here. Because I think someone's like, one of them is like, but what about the town? The the dam? He's like, fuck that or screw the town. I'm yeah. Randy Quaid, and I'm like. Yeah, but we're in the town. We need that. Why don't we keep the damn guy up on the dam? Yep. And, right. like, and then I know one, one more going to be helpful, but like. That's fair. Like, yeah, look, keep damn guy up there to make sure we don't actually drown in this fucking I, town. But I, I, did, I, isn't this town just done? I mean, it's just Betty White <laughs> and the dock. After. Yes. They're the only, I mean, we've given as up. As far as we know, the rest of the town is. Who's coming so back to this? Like, well, I, you know, for one, the McDonald's Corporation is going to get in there and they're going to save mm-hmm. whatever is only kind <laughs> of yep. water damage. All those dead cows we see later, they're sure. putting. Yeah, there's, there's your fucking the big Sears, I guess the, the Sears week. Corporation is probably going to come in to do a little check too. Probably. Oh yeah, you got to take a peek. <laughs> sure. Oh, these beautiful stained glass windows. Wow. But yeah, they were saved. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be this fucking Banshees of Inisherin marriage <laughs> playing out yeah. by themselves for yep. a fucking year. Where is it in the movie that Christian Slater gets spooked by that fucking cow? Corpse? I think it might have been earlier. I forget. Yeah. It just it's a, you, a jump scare for. Yeah, yeah, it is a jump scare. I was thinking what. It's when they get when Morgan. It's right before Morgan Freeman gets him. Like right, when he's go, going he back up, to the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he sees the dead cow. He's scared. He turns around. He sees Morgan Freeman. Oh yes, you're right. Yeah, because he's like yeah, he's standing back on the 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 money truck. At one, one thing. Point. One thing uh, I'm curious about because like in, in the truck, Chris Slater just grabs a shotgun. And just starts using it immediately, even though it's been submerged in water for like hours. Yeah. I don't think that that works that way. I'm, I'm not a really? gun guy. I don't it know. Sounds you just, like you are. 
I just don't think you can just take, take a gun that's been submerged in water and then just start using Is it. Is like, this a post on the gun internet movie database? I was shocked there wasn't gun stuff what? on the IMDb. Yeah. Oh, like, on the IMDb. Yeah. Did you go to the gun one? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I, that is a good question. I mean, I think it's probably a thing where, like, maybe some guns, yes, sure. and also lots but of like, other guns, no. What are you, What the, what's going to be on the IMDb trivia? Oh, you're going to get some rust there. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, I mean, like, yeah, I guess some of them could log, but, like, yeah, it's a movie. Like, yeah, it's they're just movie. like. My bigger issue with the shotgun is he starts using it. You never see him reload it, I don't think. No, maybe not once. No, maybe. dude, because we, we got the fucking infinity ammo code on. Yeah. yeah. True. No, I mean, no. that's happened. Yeah, that's it's happening. I mean, like. There are parts in the shootout in the uh, in the cemetery, like it is the rock, like for a minute there, like yeah. the the jolting camera, like cutting well, back and forth to different two t- two man shootouts. Yeah, I, I mean we're about there in the movie anyway, but like a few scenes after where we are now, when he saves Minnie Driver from the handcuff staircase, he yeah. literally fires a gun underwater. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's so I don't know. I'm I mean, on the I'm on the database right now. Okay. It's just it's just listing the guns. But oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am attempting to Google can a shotgun fire underwater, but I think it might be contacting the authorities. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't know, man. I fired a gun twice in my life. It yes. did nothing for me either time. I've never been less horny in my life. <laughs> yeah, I could not tell you. But to Chris's point, it's a fun motion picture, and that's probably why. Sure, but yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> suspicion is valid. Well, from yeah. Business Insider, Ooh. <laughs> you have a subscription, dude? trusted source. If you're wondering how it's even possible to shoot a gun underwater. Gunpowder contains oxygen, a key element in the firing process. Yeah. This gun still goes off exactly as it would on land. Oh, huh. This is according to the Business Insider. Well, they know they know what's up. What do those they? nerds know yeah. about guns? No, I mean, all those business guys are always blowing their brains oh, out. Oh, right? that's, so true. that's yeah. 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 Well, yeah, the mass Hold suicide. Hold on a second. G- gas-operated rifles are most likely to function properly underwater. A big no to firing shotguns underwater or with the barrel even partially submerged. So oh. no shotgun. All right. No, the no barrel's shotgun. highly likely to explode and is dangerous and will destroy the shotgun. Oh, this might be just trying to get me to buy another shotgun. <laughs> another? <laughs> yo, 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 somebody Sam yourself is the idea? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, but so like. So it seems like there's no answer. There I see is, yeah. both here. Now it's someone oh. else on uh, saying, yeah, go for it. Don't go on Reddit, <laughs> yeah, please. Go for oh. it. Uh, I'm sure a lot of folks listening to this are like, those fucking idiots. It's, yeah. The answer is this. Uh, yes, I know. You were all born with guns on your hands. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I want to see that movie. I forget. Johnny Gun Hand? Oh, yeah. Minnie Driver is somewhere, and then she gets kidnapped. So Phil, or no. Wayne. Uh, Wayne. Yes. Is t- it's another, like, we're taking her to the fucking town line again. Oh, that's right. And then the, the, it's like, all right, get rid of her, Wayne. And it's like, I sure will. And this is when. Phil kind of knows what's going to happen. He's like, no, you can't let him. You can't let him. Yeah. And, that's ugh. And it's because well, Randy weird... Quaid also knows what he's yeah, about to yeah, like. Sure. That's the other thing. Randy, whatever he says, right? He's like, oh, yeah, he's going to go. Oh, rape I remember old Wayne at last year's homecoming <laughs> game. Yeah. Well, the but... thing is, you know, she'll soon be at peace and <laughs> meeting all kinds of Bible characters. <laughs> I <laughs> guess so. Fine. Yeah, uh, it's, just, it's just Bible camp. <laughs> It's so weird. He takes her back to her house and he locks. Oh, it's like, oh kill her in her house and make it look like an accident or something. Right. Like, like oh, make her look like she fell down the stairs or something. Yeah. Uh, which is, I guess, handcuffing and then violently. But here's the move, Randy Quaid. R-wording. Don't worry about any of that. Take the money when you have it and get the fuck out of town and never be seen again because mm-hmm. you're never going to be the sheriff again. Like, no, yeah. You're, you're already what? not the sheriff now. Yes. Yeah. She's she going to fuck out. So, like, he handcuffs her to the banister and he starts doing this thing. Like, Dear Penthouse Forum, you'll never. I'm like, yeah, I never read Penthouse Forum, but it's not like Dear Penthouse Forum, I raped a woman. I don't oh think that that God. was all, ever in no, that No, they never published those stories, but I fucking guarantee you. They, <laughs> the they got them. Really they certainly <laughs> got the yep. letters. Oh, no, actually, you know what they do? Is they're like, oh, wait, all of these are fake? Oh, yeah, all these are fake. We, don't, we never even take submissions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Nobody yeah. get that. Yeah. We don't get anything. The fucking, I mean, the whole thing is terrible, but the real fucking icing, the fucking shit icing on the terrible cake that is this scene is he's like, uh-oh, the, the lights went out in your house. Hang on a second. And somewhere this dude finds a dry candle, yes. lights it and puts it down. And he's like, are you in the mood yet? Uh, and I'm like, there is no death 
perfect enough for this character. Smooth operator. <laughs> Smooth operator. I was kind of hoping for a bigger one from him. He gets kind of stabbed by the tiniest. It's, 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 it's the tiniest knife. pocket knife in the world. Yeah. He does get it in the neck. Yeah. He's got it right in the cool. jugular. But it would be cooler if it, because she, it's actually a badass moment for her because he asks if she's in the mood yet, to which she follows up with no and gets him in the jugular. But it would have been cooler if it was that fast stab, like oh, a yeah. bunch of them. Oh, I like, like that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, like you're shiving someone in prison. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like half his neck, like his head almost falls off. And then Hell maybe yeah. a dead cow reams him in the back. Totally. You never, you never know how that fun. comes. Yep, you exactly. That. You know. And now, I mean, like 31% of this movie is Mini Driver trying to get away from this banister. Yep. yep. It's a long time. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a lot. And then she's just like. Hot screw action. Yeah. <laughs> <she's>, <laughs> she didn't get screwed. She unscrews yeah, a bunch of screws. A lot it's, of screws. It's, it's not the kind of screwing action no. you, know, you hope yeah. for. Because no. she's trying. First, she's trying to get his keys. She can't do that. And then she's like, well, I guess I'll have to unscrew each rail of this banister. Step by step and i'm like jesus christ what <laughs> yeah, happened to the gunplay walking up the <laughs> stairs in order to not drown while she's unscrewing screws all the way up yeah and then the part that stops her is the newel post yeah i was like now it's just all wood rip it apart <laughs> well i guess you know she doesn't have the upper body strength yeah, yeah she never saw true. christmas vacation <laughs> no, that, yeah but meanwhile, an insane gunfight is going on at the church. This is when I think uh, Randy Quaid and Hank just drive in through. Like the, they kind of just jump, do a water jump into the yes. church. Yes, after, the glass. after a few Molotov cocktails. Yes. We are throwing Molotov cocktails into a church, which is very funny. It's nice. Uh, in, yeah, in I've always context. wanted to do that. But the other thing is um, when they go through, I think this is, to me, the worst part of this movie mm. they one of one of the boats goes through a stained glass window and you better believe it is a cgi jesus window pane oh yes, face yes. Uh-huh. flies at the camera oh, yeah. i was like thanks but no thanks like this movie is gonna be hard rain in 3d is yeah that, like what the is shit that, is that blasphemy to cgi a visage of the lord like that no i think it's cool the I christians know. are cool the pope okay. might come after you for it <laughs> but like what's he gonna do a movie hard rain <laughs> The poor little Jesus be destroyed in the glass, it's a f- and it's a fake Jesus too. Send his crazy Paul Bettany fucking uh, assassin after. Oh, oh yeah, he's got geez. those dudes at the ready. Oh man, and he's, and he's got his exorcist too. Maybe he sends. Uh, Russell Crowe to the sound. Send the Pope's exorcist to get him. <laughs> there is a part. I mean, because it's just a lot of gunplay. Um, yeah. There is a part when I think Morgan Freeman takes an extension cord around Randy Quaid's neck, which yes, rules. sure oh, does. Man. I thought that because, like, I wasn't. I was so into this movie, I wasn't checking the time or nothing. Mm. I was like, oh fuck, is he gonna snuff him out right yeah. here, strangle him in this church? Because, like, you figure. Yeah, this church has been such a central location for whatever reason in this movie that you would have the finale in it. For well, sure. So I thought the movie was over right here. Well, the, this church currently has two boat two boats more than it should have in it, <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, and at least because well, Phil gets it in the stomach. That's right. He gets shot in the because stomach. Hank gets pissed off. And Hank oh, shoots you, him, and he just goes worse. Yeah, because he asks, he tells him to kill Christian Slater, but he can't, and he shoots him in the stomach. Yeah. Um, but that seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I might kill Christian Slater. Oh, yeah, I, I just <laughs> might. I might. Um, this is for taking from Jack Nicholson, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you haven't earned what he's earned. Uh, <laughs> he's in a slump. <laughs> this is where like they start to bargain with uh, Randy Quaid to like where she, where is she, and we'll give you some of the money or whatever. Yes. Yep. And Phil dying is like. Board Street, Blue House. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I I like this. You know the interesting thing about Phil eating shit in this movie. Good for this movie because I was worried it was going to be the thing where it's like, oh well, he just kept trying to be nice to Karen yes, the yes, whole movie, and he didn't want to go along with Randy Quaid's plan when he does the heel turn. They're gonna like let him survive. It's like, nah, nah this dude's getting fucking killed just like the rest like, of them. He's bleeding out the from the uh, shot in the belly like a reservoir dog for the rest of the movie <laughs> and it is because like so Chris is like I gotta go save Karen and, and like Morgan Freeman's like I only care about the money and like if you only care about the money 
shoot these fucking shoot Randy Quaid in the head and shoot yep. fucking Hank in the head. Like what? Whatever, and man. Shoot Christian Slater in the head because yeah, the movie take the fucking money. That's what I would do instantly. Yeah. Let this lady die. But that's the thing, right? Is the movie is trying real hard, and I mean it. It, it sticks the course the whole time to make him one of those villains where it's like. He's not an evil man. He, yeah, just, he just wants, wants that money for whatever. Sure. Reason, There's, so. yeah, no the, women uh, no women or kids or Christian Slaters. <laughs> there is an honor amongst thieves here. You're right. The police department is shown in a way worse light than the thieves. Oh, for sure. The thieves are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so he lets them go. And then, like, I think like Hank and uh what do you call it? The Randy Quaid get away from Morgan Freeman. I think they should they shoot him in the stomach or something like that. And they, they get away briefly, but then like oh, oh Hank says something, so something, they crash <laughs> into something, and then this fucking gas tank. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It, How it, does it come loose and well, starts coming after him? It's it's Randy Quaid and Hank in a boat, and it's like it's kind of the same scene as before. It's like, we're not going fast enough. And and Randy Quaid's like, You're right. And he throws it Hank out. Right. And Hank is like holding on for dear life on a on a what do you, uh, fire escape, and it's it just I don't know flood damage. A, a uh -huh. black cat propane tank, by the way, <laughs> uh -huh. shoots towards Hank and blows him to uh, high. Uh, I'm sorry, sniffs him out, yes. <laughs> and finds him, hunts him down. It's like heat, heat seeking. Yes, you, can, like, you can banks a corner to and get him. A dummy that flies in the air and it's fire. Oh, oh yeah, dude, so just good. launching this dummy up in the we air. We need dummies again. No yes. more CGI. Maybe do that to enhance it or something. But you need a dummy. You need I, dummy. I need yep. some some weight. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. I like Christian Slater's boat finally being killed by a statue that probably had to get torn down. Oh yeah, yeah they definitely because that <laughs> dude, this Confederate statue that they have in this movie is like the barometer yes. for how bad the storm is yeah. getting. That's a weird. They hit that like him and Morgan, Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman hit that. At one point, yeah, and it, and it doesn't actually totally disable the boat, which is yeah. weird. They just like they use it. It's on their way to the church because yeah. Morgan Freeman hits his head. Mm -hmm. And then when they get to the church, he's like, are you all right? Yeah. He's like, I'll survive. Mm -hmm. But like they should have been fucked right there. Oh, for sure. And yeah, yeah. The, they should have like torn the bottom out the boat. And it's like, now we have to get another motorboat yeah. or whatever. <laughs> and to be fair, and a sword went through the boat. I mean, yeah. Like the yeah, bottom exactly. of the boat. Might have been a union statue. We don't know <laughs> sure. for sure. I don't That's know what the true. politics of this town is, but That's I think true. Indiana was sort of, yeah, they were on the side of I the think, union. Yeah, right? they're all right. Lincoln was fucking from Illinois. Yeah, right? so they, they got to be close. Um, This is when Christian Slater gets back to, and we're still in Bannister hijinks. I mean, like, yep. she's like, oh, there's a sore in my living room. And I'm like, could we just fucking figure this Bannister out already? No. Dude, this is where you need the backstory of Christian Slater talking about he was on the fucking diving team or something, dude. Because, like, the amount of time this dude spends holding his breath, like, they're literally on the second floor of her house. Yeah. And she's like, I've got a sore in my kitchen. And he's like, I'll be right back. And swims all the way downstairs yep. to get the saw. This is fucking hilarious, dude. And Eric, I thought of you immediately when this happened. He's uh -huh. like, all right, I got the saw. And he goes to fucking do it. And it breaks as if that saw was built in Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's exactly right. Exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, I used it on the last boss. And now it just fucking broke on me. And that Lionel, it broke on me. I'm fighting with nothing but fucking sticks now. And they're breaking too. Fucking winged eyeballs. <laughs> Get the fucking <laughs> shit, shit. Now I'm going to die. Uh, but <laughs> so whatever. She, she's, she's like, oh, like, get oh. the keys. It just, I mean, this is 20 minutes of this motion picture. We don't have the, the saw breaks. Uh, and then she's like, oh, wait, I I got it. Uh, Hank's gun. Oh, right. Or whatever the yeah, fuck. Wayne's, Wayne's gun. gun. Yeah. So he like swims away again <laughs> yeah. downstairs and comes back with the gun looking for something on the porch that's well underwater yeah, yeah and you know so he shoots the handcuffs underwater they break and then this was actually kind of great and this is this is like primo disaster movie scenario right here her house breaks off the foundation yeah. and starts yeah. floating away and they're like, like on the roof and everything it's pretty kind of, cool. It does remind me kind of the last act of speed where it's the two of them and like she's yeah, she's like, Oh my god, I'm gonna die, and he's like, No, you're not gonna die, kind of a thing. Like, you know, that, that yeah, very similar. Uh, but yes, yeah, so they're they're both floating away. Here comes Randy Quaid one more time. <sighs> this is so awesome. This is so goddamn awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is when the boat clips them, right? This yeah. is well, this is like they look like you know, the jig is up, they're totally fucked, and it's like, not just yet, motherfuckers. Because Christian Slater, oh, right. Christian Slater has said they've had a you know, he's like, All right, then just fucking go, man. Right. And he because like so someone's coming and Freeman gets the hell out of there. But then it's like you came back for us because here comes Morgan Freeman, hits the roof of her house, yes. goes over it. And I, again, how a character is not dead by this insane thing that happens to them. The fucking engine of this motorboat hits Randy Quaid in the face. Oh, in the face. So good. I would yeah. like to watch it just fucking make him into chum. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> like he's fucking Jason Voorhees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah Star Whackers, when you find him, please release a videotape, <laughs> yeah. a dash cam. And All I see is me. I want to see him all torn. Because, like, when you see him go in, it looks like he's just hugging the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, ouch. <laughs> I, I don't, I mean, the other thing is, what is Randy Quaid even doing with them? He's got the money. You're in a boat. Just leave the town. He, I, he was talking about witnesses before. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, what are you, you're not going to, again, just move to, like, you know, Indianapolis and start again with $3 million <laughs> of fucking hot money. That's <laughs> big plan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go to the big city and, and get Pacers season tickets. Like, totally, you'll never find dude. me in the giant city that is <laughs> Indianapolis. Uh, but then it's like, oh, it all appears to be fine. But then like Randy Quaid just fucking comes up much like Jason Voorhees yes. from the fucking water. He kind of works as a Jason Voorhees. He's a big hulking figure. Yeah, yeah. big tall creep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, yes. it all works. And he's got a gun on Mini Driver. Mini Driver tries to shoot him. She, she doesn't have any bullets. And this is when, uh, speaking of the Godfather, Ugh. Randy Quaid gets Sonny Corleone by yeah, right yeah. here. It's <sighs> like 60 bullets. I need a wide shot for this. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I need yep. to see all the damage being done. Yep. They, they do it too close. <laughs> it's right up there. I just, I need to see all him exploding the <sighs> way he's, oh God. It, it because is, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's kind of a great, Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman like turn to each other and like they each give the, each other the look of like, Fuck this guy, right? <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. It's kind of like when Travolta and uh, 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 Sam Jackson like turn yes, and yeah. fire. It's yeah. kind of the same. Like, yeah, we're gonna kill this guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. And oh they, god, they dude. annihilate him. Oh, oh, the violence. It's so good. Yeah. And apparently, if you listen to Morgan Freeman, uh, his character was supposed to die, and his character did die in the original cut. Oh, but and it's it's this great quote from Morgan Freeman. Like. Then they did this audience test screening, and apparently we're listening to the audiences now. And they like, you gotta <laughs> I live. Love, I love how salty he is about yeah, listening yes. to notes from the fucking crowd. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, now probably we're listening to the audiences. And now Those fucking hogs. <laughs> I love that. Yes, Morgan Freeman is learning in 1998 yes. about test screening, and that he's so, he's likable. Yeah, <laughs> and, totally. And so they don't want him to die. And but so he was they, pissed off about it. Oh yeah, he's furious. He apparently. wanted to die because he was the bad guy or whatever, but. I mean, there are the, all the twists and turns of this movie. It's like really was he. So the audience thought like this ending would have been preferable, where yeah. he gets to live and he gets a little money. He gets a little money. He goes down to San Juan to one, one bag. <laughs> I meets Tim Robbins. So let me understand this correctly. Some asshole from Memphis thinks that my character has to live, and now my character has to live. Now I have to go back to work and reshoot the ending of my movie. Now wow. I'm on the hook for Hard Rain Two. <laughs> Who is this asshole's name? <laughs> Who wrote that comment? I'm going to kill him. I mean, he's not wrong. Make the movie. That's, you know, where it goes from art to business real fast, man. We're listening to Richard now. <laughs> Richard oh. is the man who's oh. making this picture. Richard from Nebraska. huh? I guess he's smart enough to run a whole movie studio. <laughs> Isn't the director of this movie called Mikhail? <laughs> Oh, okay. No, no, no. I don't. Let's let's just look at um, cards from uh, the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, somebody wants me to fly like a fucking bird at the end of the movie. Guess we got to reshoot that one too. Oh, oh Paramount gonna... Pictures. I, I thought this would be put out by Richard Pictures. <laughs> oh, look look at this one here now. It says that I'm supposed to be the granddaughter of Palpatine in this movie. Now. <laughs> We're just listening to the audience now. Somehow he survived. <laughs> What's a Reddit? But I don't like it. I don't like whoever that guy the is. Reddit's some type of Sith technology I'm supposed to know about. Boy, now. that Reddit sounds like a real lonely boy. So that's why. I, that's why I played in uh, Shawshank Redemption. Reddit, right? Reddit. Who? What's that? J.J. <laughs> Abrams. Yeah, I love those Star Wars characters. A Sith Wayfinder to find the other Sith artifacts seems lazy. <laughs> 
I'll tell you another thing about audience test screenings. I was supposed to do the voice of Babu Frick. And after a <laughs> test screening, they just made it a bunch of garbled nonsense. <laughs> kind of a- fucked up. <laughs> I hired a British woman to do a bunch of fucked up nonsense voices <laughs> with Babu Frick when you had Mr. Morgan Freeman originally playing Babu Frick. That's now, why would you hire Carrie Russell and then not show her face? <laughs> <laughs> it's Carrie Russell. She's fantastic. That son of a bitch Richard's at it again. That guy's <laughs> fucking up all my movies. Richard's ruining the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like I guess Richard's working for Disney now. <laughs> Dude, I think Richard. This is what Quentin Tarantino's the film critic is the movie critic <laughs> right. about. Carrie Russell though, good helmet in that movie. Great, great helmet. Solid Fantastic. solid helmet work, actually. Yeah. But I mean like Yeah, yeah. I see you, the point. I you're see not the point. you're not letting me look at Carrie Russell. Mm-hmm. I mean, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, fuck you for that whole movie, yes, but yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Or get <laughs> get Matthew Reese in there, have him have the same uh, Helmet there. Oh, yes. Get them the package deal. That's what I want from yep, now on. Yep, totally. You fucking, you know, put on any track from Tusk, let them go off. Please. You know, it'd be great. But yeah, I just filmed that uh, thriller with Jack Nicholson where we're just going around uh, assassinate. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Richard says it has to be the bucket list. <laughs> well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Why would two old friends? Yeah, uh huh. That's what Richard wants. But I guess that's what we're doing. Didn't uh, I meet you on the set of Hard Rain? Oh, wait. <laughs> Is that your little your little brother? Or? Richard keeps on saying he wants to see an older Christian Slater. <laughs> I don't know just the man. Uh, Richard apparently had no notes for going in style. <laughs> Uh, Show, shows you Richard's taste in movies. They he gets away, and like yeah. the last line is like the the National Guard finally shows up to like raise your hand. No, it's the state police. Oh, the That's state right. police. Yeah. Sorry, and it's like oh, it's just like oh, what happened to my stained glass windows? I'm like shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> they drowned. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's you know, and then it's Christian Slater. He's kind of being an asshole here again. He's like. Yeah, no, they're they're fine, you know. More of the fire you got to worry about. Yeah. There was a fire. Yeah. Well, there was a little bit, but then the rain put it out. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it's like we end on a freeze frame. And we I sure have do. to say, we sure do. Thank you for just getting out of this movie. Yes. No yes. fucking, yes. you know. They don't kiss. The next totally day. fine. Also, yes. totally fine. No yes. fucking blanket over their shoulder by an ambulance. Yes. No. Yeah. Exactly. Big Nothing. Thumbs thumbs just... It was supposed to be a great scene, but Richard didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> the ambulance scene was the best in the picture. <laughs> the new CEO of Paramount Pictures, Richard. <laughs> Can I do this movie next after this one? Or do I have to speak to Richard? <laughs> Apparently he's the king of Hollywood. Can you get Richard on the phone? <laughs> Would Richard like this that I'm doing this picture? I uh, I, got, I got a report that uh, Richard didn't care for me playing God in Bruce Almighty. But, uh, <laughs> fuck you, Richard. <laughs> Looking at the... Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, Richard wrote this new movie that I got. I have to star in. From This one's, this one's Richard Soup to Nuts. It's called Lucky Number Slevin. <laughs> <laughs> Shows you how well Richard knows motion pictures. When I did the narration for the popular documentary March of the Penguins, you see, Richard had a note. And the only note said, maybe, instead of Morgan Freeman, the great Morgan Freeman doing the narration of the popular documentary March of the Penguins, it was Carrot Top. This is what Richard is working with, folks. <laughs> Richard is very into penguin sex. <laughs> He's got a, a, an urge. I don't know what it comes from. I do love the theory that he did Lucky Number 11 to break the Richard curse. Like, see, now, I told you, you don't have to listen to him. Now that's more like it, Mr. Richard. And Richard Richard's been controlling my career for the past decade. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> I think I've escaped him, and then he gets me again. It just, you know... Just ending it like that, it just felt like a real throwback, you know. Well, I mean, and then you 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 see into a song that sounds like like a rock and roll song sung by rats. <laughs> yeah. It's jars of clay, which nobody gives a fuck about. It did for one year. There was like a year what there. What was yeah the single? It was ninety eight. I'm I think sure. It was, I think it was, was it this song? Yeah, I think okay. it was this one. Yeah, it's this, this one. was a this was a hit. Yeah. Yes, dog shit tune. And they, I think they kind of know it's dog shit because they do not let this song. No, play yeah, they out. just cut into the yeah. the, 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 the the score, score back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, well, Richard likes the score. That's what we're gonna have to. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Richard really can only listen to the first thirty seconds of any <laughs> Jaws play song. You see, he does. He <laughs> listens to it while he works out. Just the first thirty seconds over and over again. 
Oh, man. And that is the end of Hard Rain. Uh, sure Go is. around the room here. Uh, final thoughts and recommendations. Eric Siska. Yes, it's a recommend for me. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, despite, uh, you know, the American actors not really nailing their <laughs> British accents. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's fucking great. I, mean, uh -huh. I had a really good time with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Christopher Cabin. Uh, yeah, a light recommend. I don't think, I, I think this is actually a really good script. I'm not crazy about the direction. Sure. Like some of the action scenes I think could have popped a lot more than like they do. Like a lot of the, the, the graveyard shootout should be a lot more tense than it is. Yeah. It's just kind of bombast, which I don't mind. And I had fun with it. Uh, but I kind of, you know, a movie like this, I could see it like if back in the day, like you get Jacques Tenor, you get this 70 minutes this thing's really going. This thing yeah. is really ripping. Yeah. This like the the extra twenty minutes you have of the fucking banister. It's yeah, all the staircase. <laughs> yeah. All that shit. It does kind of slow it down a bit. But yeah, still, still worth seeing. There's less staircase in the fucking series. The staircase. They did probably. I think if you timed it all, <laughs> uh -huh. spent less time on the stairs in that in that uh, mini series than they uh, did. Stop watch it. It's a strong recommend for me. Like not the best movie in the world, but it's just you know what it is. It's if you put this in your computer. Uh, the file name would be regular movie dot o m o v. Yes. It's yep. just a yep. regular movie. Yep. No bells and whistles. You're gonna have a little bit of fun, and that's it. And it's it's uh, Slater is fine. Mini Driver is fine. Everybody's fine. Uh, Morgan Freeman's a lot of fun. Uh, and Randy Quaid's a lot of fun. So Dan Florek, I think, steals the show. Yeah, he oh, does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I will say this. You guys all predicted it at the end of the Equilibrium <laughs> episode. Yeah. I had a fucking tits up, fantastic time watching this movie. I think it's Glad. great. It's stupid as fuck, and I said this on Letterboxd, it is a hangover movie par excellence. Absolutely. Big boy. Holy shit. And it's that 97 minutes. You know TNT is going to get that right to two hours and ten minutes. Oh, yeah. That's just what they need. Yeah, no. Hard recommend for me. Hard recommend for Hard Rain. Love that. You're uh, in the back of the box now. That's right, dude. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode of We Hate Movies, talking all about Hard Rain. Uh, but if you want more We Hate Movies, of course, we are smack dab in the middle of Listener Request Month, which means that uh, you have picked most of the things we programmed this month, including a patron-selected We Love Movies episode all about John Hewson's The Man Who Would Be King. Yes. Uh, if you like funny voices, Michael Caine, yeah, sure. Sean Connery, it's all there right for you. We even oh, yeah. throw in a little taste of what we think Christopher Plummer used to sound like. <laughs> so it's three voices for one movie uh, on patreon.com slash We Hate Movies. What a bargain. Oh, uh, yeah. On Animation Damnation, we're doing Ugly Americans. We're recording it this week. I still don't know what this cartoon is too yeah. much, but it people there are fans of it, so yeah. maybe yeah. we'll wind up liking it. Maybe yes. we won't. It'll we'll be see. an interesting conversation. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I would love to be turned on to a canceled cartoon that is for adults. <laughs> yes. You tell me it's a cartoon that's good for adults, and I only have to worry about, like, 20 some odd episodes yeah, not, not a bad situation <laughs> absolutely uh, and uh, on the gleep glossary we are talking about r5d4 programmed by you he was recently seen in the mandalorian <laughs> that's right exciting. featured in the mandalorian and yeah. we'll be joined by uh, the director of Ooh. triangle of sound oh, wow i know it's right. yeah. ruben austland oh, the force majeure man himself that's, that's correct right. oh, yes. okay um i think at this point for when this episode drops we've already of course released uh melro 210 mm. which was not patron selected mm. but a lot of fun we're covering a melrose place thanksgiving episode there's yeah. a shotgun in beverly hills 902 and oh that's pretty surprising we and it wasn't good underwater you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's going on. Uh, the Nexus, of course, we are covering a DS9 and a, a Voyager that were selected by y'all. Uh, one, the Voyager has the rock in it being some gleep clop. And I believe that the DS9 is the one where they're all in the 1950s for some reason, writing science fiction. The pale stories. moonlight, I want to say. I think it's that one. Yes, I, it is. Yeah. yeah. But it's a good episode. Sure, we'll find out. <laughs> um, and then, I mean, I mean, so much shit. Uh, John Wick commentary is coming out. That'll be out by the end of this month. So much. So that's going to be rocking and rolling. Weekly Mandalorian episode. Yes. Right. That's right. The Mando Half Hour. Live show in Los Angeles, California on May 22nd of this year yeah. and May 5th, May 18th, in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Come on out, folks. Yeah. And Come that's what we're doing Star Trek for the Voyage Home. That's right. And what are we doing in L.A.? Twins. That's right. And twins. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Chris. Uh, but here on the free feed, Listener Request Month uh, continues for one last job. One last episode of Listener Requested 
delight. Uh, what are we? We're going back to uh, what's his face again, right? Randy Harlan. Randy it's Harlan gets territory. spooky next week because it's episode six hundred and sixty-six. Oh, right. And we're talking about the Covenant, a bunch of boy witches. That's right. I'm excited. <laughs> witches who are boys. Which boys? boys are, are, which boys are there? No, the witches are the boys. No, the witches are the boys. We'll yeah, get to the bottom witches. of this next week, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, every Monday at noon Eastern, we are broadcasting live on our YouTube channel with On Screen Live, where we're talking box office numbers, trailer reactions, shit we're watching in the movies and on TV. That goes off every Monday at noon Eastern on YouTube.com slash We Hate Movies. So that is going to do it uh, for Hard Rain. And until next week, when we hit episode six, six, six. six. Yeah. Mark of the Spooky beast. just saying it, man. So until then, we're cursed by the devil. I'm Andrew Jupiter. I'm Steven Zeta. Eric 666 guy. Chris Cavan. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.